everybody, and welcome to Chilton County Stadium. Luke Robinson here, along with David Jones and Wes Coleman, set to bring you this very fun football game on a very football weathery type night, David. This is absolutely gorgeous weather, if you ask me. Perfect football weather, unless maybe you're a kicker, because it's a little windy. <laughs> it's a little windy. Uh, a treat, Luke, for me to be here. Uh, and, and, and we do want to uh, send out our best to to uh, Brett Pritchard and Randy Lee, who are up in Maine playing tonight. I don't know what they're doing. They're, I'm, they're listening to us right yeah, now. Yeah, I'm sure it's, <laughs> it's, it's all altruistic uh, charity work oh, that they're doing up there. Absolutely. And, uh, they just, they're, they're, their humanity knows no bounds. No, they can just, it's, uh, a, it's unbelievable. Yeah, they, they do everything. <laughs> As his wife looks at <laughs> yeah, me and goes, okay. A, we're getting checked uh, by the listen, wife. Listen, this, this is the Ru Russell Dewitt Center pregame show. Happy to be doing this game. We're trying to fill some awfully big shoes tonight. Uh, we will try to be as homerific as we can. Yes. Look, that's what you do when you're a uh, high school play-by-play -play and color guy. Look, that's I've right. learned that. When I go do the championship games, try to uh, go right down the line, try not to show any favoritism. But tonight I can be all you Wildcat, can, right? You can. I don't know if I can do it as well as Brett does. But, but uh, you know, a great opportunity for me, Luke. I'm just going to uh, just put this out there. I was the head basketball coach here at Chilton County High School from 1991 to 1993. And Austin Monkus, who is an Alex City guy, is, is the basketball coach here at Chilton County. And he gave me the grand tour of the gym. I wanted to get back in the gym in the old office and, and see some things. Hadn't changed a lot over there, but uh, 30 years, this place has changed a lot from when I was here before. But a uh, beautiful stadium. Uh, it's it's going to be a great night for football. Yeah, really love the setup. As you mentioned, they have a tunnel. Uh, here at Chilton County where the kids can actually come through, the home team can. It really is kind of cool. I mean, it, it, it's not exactly uh, my, the Orange Bowl of Miami Hurricanes, but it is very cool, and it, it's got to be a great moment, especially here. As you said, it's going to be senior night for Chilton County. It is, and, and I, I, I told you before we went on the air, I don't know of another high school program that has that. It, right. It's, it's, it's literally a tunnel leading onto the field painted orange and blue in their school colors. Uh, Austin did tell me that the visiting team used to be able to run through there as well because they dressed in the gym, and now they're dressing back over here, and they don't get to run through the tunnel. It's just kind of the home team's deal. But, that, you know, CCHS in the rocks and the end zone there, they, they've really done a nice job with this little stadium. They certainly have as the CCHS band is about to perform for us here. Look, let's talk a little bit about this Benjamin Russell team. Yes. Uh, very excited to see them play live. I've been able to see some of their games on F NFHS because I'm usually getting ready for the scoreboard show. So I haven't been able to go to a lot of the games live. Very excited to see Malcolm Simmons tonight. Uh, very excited to see Gabe Benton. This is a quarterback that I've watched progress for a few years now, and he certainly has come on very strong. Uh, very strong arm kid, both in football and, ba and baseball, as you well know, could very well be drafted by the MLB. So I think we're going to have a lot of fun tonight. I think we'll have a lot of uh, scoring. Uh, I, I expect to see that. Benjamin Russell, three and two on the season. Chilton County, three and three. The one thing I noticed about Chilton County, though, their last two games, they have blown out their competition. Now, they played Calera in one of those, and Calera hadn't won a game yet. But still, they have been coming on strong, been scoring a lot of points lately. And you know what? Chilton County is 0-15 historically against Benjamin Russell. They're trying to change that tonight. Let's hope they don't. Maybe that's why they chose this game for senior night, because this can't be their last home game of the year, I wouldn't think. Uh, yeah, we don't have their schedule in front of us, but I, but I bet you're right, because this will only be game number seven. Yeah. I doubt they end – uh, three games three on, the, on road. the road. There's no doubt about that. And then, you know, it would be a very special senior night for one, Demarcus Riddick, of course, one of the top players in the state, committed to Auburn just like Malcolm Simmons is. So you know this game is going to have a lot of meaning for him as well, and you want to send him out on a good note. So I think that's one of the other reasons that maybe you make this a senior night, try and put a little extra emphasis on it. Yeah, it, it exactly, Luke. And, you know, it's interesting to have two teams this close together uh, in, 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 you know, it doesn't take too long to get here from Alex City. Uh, you, you've got an Auburn commit on the, on the Benjamin Russell roster. You've got an Auburn commit on the uh, – and we know what commit means. Uh, yeah. Committed, hadn't signed anything yet. But hopefully they're both strong to Auburn. Uh, and I, I did sit down with uh, Coach Grider, if you want me to go through that a little bit real quick in the pregame. Sure, I think uh, we've got some time. Okay. Uh, we've got about 19 minutes to kick off, it looks okay. like. So, certainly I would love to hear a little bit about Coach Grider. We just uh, – a program note, we won't have a coach's sit-down technically recorded like they do for most games, right. again, because Brett and Randy were out of the state. But uh, 
David was able to talk to Coach Grider, and certainly if you'd like to fill us in on that, we'd love to hear it. Yeah, I can start that. We'll let that be our coach's interview. I sat down with Coach Smitty Grider yesterday and uh, asked him some pointed questions. What did he need to do tonight? He said, we still hadn't played four quarters. I mean, this Luke, this roster is loaded. Uh, you were looking out uh, from the press box earlier when we were up there, and you said, who is that? And it was Sedari Morgan. Yeah, that's right. Incredible-looking athlete. Uh, th this roster is loaded. They still hadn't put a complete game together. Uh, one note of uh, injury uh, that I, I didn't know this till I sat down with Coach yesterday, Chris Foster will not be playing tonight. So, And, and he is a spark plug for this, this team. A tremendous point guard on the basketball floor, great football player. You know, I said that about – I said, I love watching Foster play basketball. And Coach Grider said, man, look, this dude can play football, too. So we will be without him tonight. Uh, but Coach said, we've got to put four quarters together, and we have to contain their athletes. So obviously they have some guys on the perimeter in their skill positions. We all know about Riddick in the middle on defense. But offensively, they've got some weapons as well. The quarterback's really come into his own in these last two wins. So those were the notes from Coach Grider. Try to put four quarters together contain their athletes the best they can on defense. Yeah, and that's one thing that was told to me was that the Chilton County uh, quarterback has really come on of late, and maybe that's one of the reasons they've had their offensive explosion. And that's the thing, you know, you can discount playing teams that, you know, haven't won a game. You, you can excuse away the fact that Chilton County took care of Calera with ease and the other team with ease, whatever. But, you know, I think what it does is it gives uh, some a quarterback – a lot of uh, confidence going into the very next game. And momentum is such an incredibly fickle thing in sports. If you can ever get it going, yes. that, that's wonderful. Of course, you can lose it just like that, too. And maybe they'll lose it tonight facing this tough BRHS defense. Well, it's, it's a good time for them to be playing well because they've got this game at home and it's against a team they hadn't beaten. So uh, we'll hope that they kind of do fall off the rails tonight for sure. Let's go ahead and take our first break here at the Russell Dewitt Center pregame show Benjamin Russell Wildcat football brought to you by the Russell do it center we are going to take a break when we come back we'll be getting you ready for kickoff hi this is Brian Bice with Bice Motors with our all-star lineup of Dodge trucks Jeep SUVs and Chrysler cars we offer the area a team dedicated to making your next vehicle purchase a positive experience our sales team offers competitive pricing and we back up all sales with service department second to none Bice Motors also offers the area's best selection of pre-owned vehicles visit Bice Motors at 2133 Cherokee Road in Alexander City. Guaranteed lowest price. Buy it at Vice. Vice Motors. Whether it's Lake Martin, Lay Lake, or Logan Martin, boaters from all over the state of Alabama come to Alex City Marine. Just off Highway 280 in Alexander City, Alabama. Because it's worth the drive. With the best deals on unbeatable Suzuki outboards, Manitou and Landau Tritunes, and a great pre-owned inventory while they last. Alex City Marine is the pros the locals know. And no matter where you're from, when you're here, you're local to us. Alex City Marine, just off Highway 280 in Alexander City, Alabama. AlexCityMarine.com. This is Joseph Dean with Alabama Funeral Homes. As many of you are aware, we had a fire that significantly damaged our facilities. We were in the process of getting those rebuilt. We apologize for any inconvenience this may have caused the families that we serve. I want you to know that we are capable of handling all of your needs at Frederick Dean Funeral Home of Opelika, which will be servicing Alabama Funeral Homes families. We can be reached at our same number, 256-896-4502, or by email at joseph at alabamafuneralhomes.com. Castelluccio Fine Italian Dining in downtown Alexander City is rapidly becoming the region standard for Italian cuisine as well as hand-cut filet mignon, fresh gulf seafood, and the area's best Italian import wine selection. We offer true old-world charm with unmatched hospitality. Like Castelluccio Fine Dining on Facebook to keep up with daily lunch and dinner specials. Also new, we offer catering for your family and small business, so call and order. Castelluccio, downtown Alexander City, where the only thing that rivals the flavor is the dining experience. iFoam is independently owned and is your spray foam insulation solution for the Lake Martin area. iFoam offers the latest and greatest in air leak assessments and spray foam insulation to keep your home and office comfortable no matter the season. Foamy says call for an estimate today at 334-367-4795. That's 334-367-4795. J.A. Smith Construction is your trusted choice for construction site clearing and grading for new home construction, underground utilities, and site work. 
concrete paving, storm drain installation, fish ponds, and slough dredging. No job is too big or too small. Call Alexander at J.A. Smith Construction at 256-896-1400 or email asmith at jasmithconstruct.com. J.A. Smith Construction, your trusted choice for construction. The Morris Haynes Law Firm focuses on representing those who have been injured or mistreated by the wrongful acts of others. We have offices in Ellick City and Birmingham, but we have been calling Ellick City home for over 30 years. If you find yourself in need of a lawyer, give us a call at Morris Haynes, 256-329-2000. We would be honored to help you. 76% of nurses say they went into the profession because they wanted to help patients. No matter the reason you decided to become a nurse, you have all the tools needed to advance your degree at Jacksonville State University. Our Master's in Nursing program is now offered fully online and can be completed in less than two years. You can customize a flexible course schedule so you can receive your advanced education degree all while working on the front line. JSU Nursing, your opportunity to advance your career and serve your community. Get a ghoulishly good deal all month long at Opelika Ford. Take advantage of spectacular discounts on their entire inventory of brand new Fords. Plus, rates as low as 1.9% APR for 60 months. Shop Opelika Ford, Chrysler.com. Get a ghoulishly good deal all month long at Opelika Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram. Get their biggest discounts of the year on new Rams, plus 2.9% APR financing for 72 months. Don't miss Ram Power Days at Opelika Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram. Announcing Lake Martin Medical Center's new address at 815 Lee Street. Dr. Vassar Rafai offers services in primary care, provides bioidentical hormone pelleting, and specializes in treating leg sores in the Lake Martin and surrounding areas. Our med spa also offers IPLs, laser hair removal, and a variety of aesthetic products and procedures for your skin care needs. We're your one-stop shop to looking and feeling your best. Call 256-212-9300 to schedule your appointment. That's 256-212-9300. Welcome back to the Russell Dewitt Center pregame show. The Wildcats are now making their way onto the field just simultaneously with the Chilton County Tigers. Chilton County did win the toss, the Scotty Gordon Cornerstone Insurance and Financial Group toss, and they have deferred to the second half. So we will get to see this very electric Wildcat offense on the field first. Very excited to see them. And uh, this is gonna be a good game, David. Let's get it going. I'm ready. I'm ready. They dimmed the lights. They got the no, these brand new LED lights they just put in. They, they made some improvements to this stadium. Uh, it's mighty bright out here. I like it. I've already learned a lesson, David, as what? I see Kim Pritchard, Brett's lovely wife in front of me and several of her friends. They all have their seat cushions, and here I am pretty much bone on concrete because I wasn't blessed on the backside very much, and it's, it's going to hurt a little bit, Man, I can tell you. I bought my wife and I two of those to use on Friday nights, and I didn't even think. I thought we'd be up in the press box in a cushy seat, but here we are. Instead, hey. we're getting ready for kickoff. It looks like deep for Benjamin Russell will be Lejavius Calhoun, only a 10th grader, and Malcolm Simmons, of course, will be back deep with him as well. Yeah, we'll see if they kick it to him. Wes Coleman has joined the broadcast too now. Wes, glad to have you, buddy. Uh, good to have you. We thought that Wes was good AWOL there for a minute. Glad he showed up. I was on my sideline talking. That's all I'll right. talk now. That's should've, good. Should have brought us a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> Porpoise Auto Sales, Highway 280 in Kellerton, Alabama, is home-owned and home-operated. If you're looking for tires, they have it. If you're looking for a vehicle, they have them. Great selection. Always out looking for more just for you, the customer. And if you're looking for service, whether you buy the vehicle from them or whether you buy the vehicle somewhere else, they do service work and got a great crew there. Keep this in mind. Why don't you go buy Forbes Auto Sales on Highway 280 in Kellerton today. 
They say we live in an age of big data, where computers and fancy algorithms are supposed to know you best. But at Country Financial, we know helping you own your future requires, well, something much bigger. Contact your local Country Financial representative and start planning for your future with a personal touch. Arise is public transportation from downtown Alexander City. Now from downtown Alexander City, they cover a 20 mile radius. Those vans are all over the place. When was the last time you went to see that friend? When was the last time you really needed to go to the doctor but you didn't have a, a ride? Well now you got one. It's a rise. Remember this, it's public transportation. Their number to call is 256-329-8444. Let Riverbank and Trust open doors for you. Whether you're purchasing land, a lot by the lake, or building or buying a home, begin with Tallapoosa County's loan experts. They'll guide you through the entire process, providing local decision-making, prompt responses, and the best real estate loan solutions for your unique needs. And in most cases, Riverbank and Trust can close your loan in 30 days or less, and they'll walk by your side every step of the way. It's all just part of the Riverbank and Trust difference. We invite you to experience it for yourself. Fire Truck Barbecue located downtown Alexander City with hours of Monday and Tuesday, 10.30 to 1.30, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, 10.30 to 6.30, adding catfish, hamburger steaks, french fries, Brundrick stew, and of course, their already well-known barbecue. Let me give you their telephone number, 205-936-0058, and they also do catering at Fire Truck Barbecue downtown Alex City dollars over invoice now at tony sarah ford every new ford on the lot five hundred dollars over invoice when you trade in finance with tony sarah ford plus 3.9 percent financing for 72 months save thousands on new f-150s and more all backed by sarah's lifetime warranty no charge every new ford five hundred dollars over invoice at tony sarah ford in silicaga tony Jackson Apothecary, located in New Side, Alabama, on Highway 22 East, is open Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 5.30. And Brad Jackson says, hey, it's organized, it's clean, it's for you. Vitamins, medical supplies, household items, they even have a drive-thru. Let me give you their number, 256-392-3448. That's 256-392-3448. Jackson Apothecary. Dean's Daylight Donuts and Cafe in downtown Alexander City. They are now serving more than hot donuts. Stop by and pick up one of their breakfast bowls with your choice of sausage, bacon, or smoked sausage on a bed of scrambled eggs, cheese, and country grits. Or try their sausage or bacon and egg croissants and add a cup of hot coffee, iced coffee, or orange juice. Dean's Daylight Donuts and Cafe open Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. Carlisle Heat and Air says it's tune-up time for your HVAC system. Having your unit tuned up increases energy efficiency and can reduce the wear and tear on your unit. Hmm. Call Carlisle Heat and Air today at 256-234-0019 for a price. Serving the Lake Martin area, Alexander City, Dadeville, Jackson Gap, and Goodwater. Don't get hot. Be cool. Call Carlisle Heat and Air today at 256-234-0019. Don't get hot. Be cool. Have you met your local farmer's insurance agent, Patrick Holina? He proudly serves Tallapoosa County and Alexander City families and businesses and is ready to review your existing policies or provide a no-obligation quote today. Call the Holina Agency at 256-234-0037 or stop in today at 704 Commerce Drive to get smarter about your insurance. Again, that's the Holina Agency, 256-234-0037. We are farmers. Bum, ba, da, bum, 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 bum. Underwritten by Farmers, Truck Fire Insurance Exchanges, and Affiliates. Products not available in every state. All right, number 13 for Chilton County will be kicking off. It's time for some football. Let's go. Wes, yeah. is this the nicest weather night you've had? Not not nicest in terms of clear, but just the most football-esque weather night you've had? Yeah, so I mean, probably so. I mean, right now, I'm kind of cold. You see the lows <laughs> later on? <laughs> 
All right. <laughs> Later on in the week, we're, we're down to 40. That's right. I'm looking forward to it. All right. Toe meets leather ball is in the air, and it is going to come down to Calhoun. He's going to be able to return it. He's past the 10, gets by one man, cuts back the opposite way to the left. Now he's, he's got, got a lot of space. Yeah. Let's see if he can get by this man. He gets tackled out around the 29. That was a great return right there and good start for the Wildcats. Hey, good blocking there. He reversed field, had a little wall. The Chilton County player, I didn't get his number. He did a great job slicing in. If he didn't make that tackle, he's probably past the 50-yard line. All right, so the Wildcat offense makes its way out onto the field. Malcolm Simmons split wide right here, close to the visitor sideline on our side. So Darian Morgan over here as well, Luke. Shotgun start for Gabe Benton. They're gonna hand the ball off for the first carry. Right up the middle, nice gain, about six yards. Trying to see who that is at running back. Gang tackled by the Tigers. And excuse us for not knowing the numbers by heart like our good friends Randy and Brett. That was number 11. That's Tajarius. Lorenzo Crawford. Is that right? Tajarius Wilson. Okay, Scarry, he gets the ball again, and he's gonna get almost to the 50, another big first down. Offensive really line nice. doing some work already. Yeah, the, the offensive line setting the tone. Uh, like you, I, I haven't seen much of Benjamin Russell yet this year. Kind of in a little little, uh, little tempo offense here. I don't so they, blame them. They do line up quickly, still in the shotgun. And another handoff to Wilson. Wilson's going to get around the corner again. Going to have almost another first down. I think he's going to be right at the sticks, and now they're pushing forward. <laughs> but they're going to blow it dead. They pushed him for another, uh, oh, thank you so much. If somebody brought me a seat cushion, that's just a great American right there. I don't that's know how you get any better in Alex City, y'all. Um, somebody have, heard me. <laughs> I might have to be a Benjamin Russell fan now after that for sure. Uh, we're just running the football at will, yep. Luke. And now we're going to have a quarterback single set. He's going to get over to Malcolm Simmons. Malcolm going to make a move, going to put his foot in the dirt and get stuck. And guess, I, guess what that was? Was that Auburn on Auburn Riddick, crime right yeah, there? Yeah, it was. Riddick on Simmons, and that was a heck of a tackle. It really was a very good tackle because Malcolm Simmons had put that foot in the dirt and was going to make a nice cut, and Riddick would have none of it. Goodness gracious. I like what I saw right there, being an Auburn fan. That was pretty impressive. So Gabe Benton back in the backfield by himself again. They've got four receivers lined up over to the left side. Now it's going to be oh. a quarterback draw. This is a nice call. Oh, Gabe nice. Pitt escapes one tackle. Stiff arms another. Gets by another on a stiff arm. He's still going at the 25. He's at the 10. Oh, oh he's going to be pushed out around the 11. My goodness. But he stiff armed at least three guys. He is a large human being. Unbelievable. Yeah. And, and, and Luke, that set, that was like a diamond open with your, your four on the one side, a wide, wide out on the other. And uh, called quarterback draw, great blocking. Good effort by uh, Benton with the stiff arms, two of them. This is going to be a handoff to Wilson again. The line opens up nicely, yep. and he's going to get down. It looks around to the nine-yard line. That's going to bring up second down, and what are they going to call it? Boy, the scoreboard operator is having fun with those buttons. They have, Everything was moving there for a second. <laughs> They still got second and 10, but that is and not he's going to continue to struggle as long as we run this up-tempo. That's exactly right. Gabe Benton looks up back over to the sideline for the call. This is a great drive. They still got second and 10. That's just not right. There's no way. I'm looking for the sticks. And yeah. Snap, hand off to Wilson again. Big hole. He's going to get all the way into the end zone, is he not? They got to yes. put their hands yes. up. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yes. Touchdown, yes. Benjamin Russell. Big time score for Benjamin Russell to get into the end zone on that first drive, and that was just too easy. Yep. Wesley, that is Tajarius Wilson, correct? It, yes, it is. Okay. He, he pretty much carried the load on that drive. Uh, Gabe Benton with one really, really good run. Uh, number 11 just marched Benjamin Russell down the field right there. Incredible. Let me tell you all, too, I want to give an apology to UAB Cardiology Associates for not saying uh, the many first downs we had. I think we had three of them on that drive. But you know what? They came so fast and furious, <laughs> I'm going to need a cardiology report myself. <laughs> Brett, Brett's greatness. Yeah. And, uh, oh, I know. <laughs> I hope it's on a curve. Uh, it's, <laughs> all right, that's going to be your score right now. Is the extra point is good. Seven to nothing Wildcats. 924 left to go in the first. We'll be back in just a minute.
gillsopalika.info. Get pre-approved in minutes online at gillsopalika.info. For a pre-owned car, truck, or SUV from Gills Auto Sales, 1430 Gateway Drive in Opelika. Jesse Henderson, owner of Henderson Glass on Davel Road in Alexander City, says give them a call today for a price, 256-234-5464. They do auto, commercial, residential, showers, shower enclosures, mirrors, tabletops. It's all about glass. So I'm seeing clearly if you are. Again, that number to call is Henderson Glass, Davel Road, 256-234-5464. I'm used to living alone, taking care of myself, Mr. Independent. But every now and then, I need a little help. My kids aren't close and I want to stay in my own home. As close as family is such a godsend. Caring professionals here to help me with all the little things. Taking care of the house and myself, keeping me looking sharp, feeling sharp too. Learn more at asclosesfamily.com. They really are as close as family. Ellen Shelton Gregg is so excited to be in her brand new location with Picket Fence, downtown Alexander City on Calhoun Street. Open Monday through Saturday from 10 to 6. Original, unique household items, vintage books, vintage sporting goods, vinyl, vintage and antique furniture, original artwork, lake decor, just to mention a few things. Come on by today at Picket Fence, downtown Alexander City. Hi, this is Andrew McGreer at Dunning Roofing. At Dunning Roofing, we specialize in high-quality, premium roofs. We don't build roofs that just meet code requirements. We build quality roofs with premium materials that significantly exceed our competitors' warranties. We put money on your roof, not in our pockets. If you're looking for a top-quality roof, call Dunning Roofing today for your free quote at 256-307-7601 or visit us at dunningroofingal.com for more information. Jackson Drugs on Cherokee Road in Alexander City is ready to kick the football season off. Auburn plates, towels, earrings, bracelets, picture frames and cups, Alabama trays, cups, plates, game day t-shirts and bags for both teams. Hey, Georgia Bulldog fans, we've got you covered too. Drop in today and check out our gift shop. Go team! Are you suffering from neck pain, back pain, or sciatica, or do you just want to feel better overall? Dr. Andrew Curley at Curley Clinic of Chiropractic was born and raised in Ellic City, provides different chiropractic techniques, and applies the therapies to suit your needs. Curley Clinic of Chiropractic is located at 748 Commerce Drive in Ellic City. I'm Kenny Dean. I'm a patient, I believe. For an appointment, call 256-392-4445. Not wasted. Not trashed. Not thrown away. Not junk. Saved. Saved. Repaired. And restored. I am renewed. When you donate used goods to the Salvation Army, you're giving the greatest gift, a second chance to those who need it most. Donating couldn't be easier or more urgent. Visit satruck.org for a donation center near you or call 1-800-SA-TRUCK for free pickup. Wildcats as they yeah. are set to kick That's off it. to Chilton County. This is a short kick. It's going to be returnable. It's picked up on about the 20, and back comes Chilton County on a nice return. They're going to get out at least to the 50-yard line and now beyond right into Wildcat territory. Point for the Chilton County Tigers. That was a fantastic kicked, kept off by our kicker, Micah Murphy, I believe it is. Micah Murphy, yes. that's yes. correct. With some relations to uh, Chick-fil-A, so we'll just call him Kick-fil-A from here on out. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> well, Lois, Lois Ann sitting right there in front of him. She probably likes it. Uh, I dig it. <laughs> All right, let's see. Chilton County has been on the uptick offensively their last couple of games. Let's see if the Wildcats can stymie that as they shift. They've got trips here over in the left. One back in the backfield. This is going to be a pass. Drop back. Looking for somebody. Can't find anybody. Now he's telling somebody to go deep, and he's not going to even make it back to the line of scrimmage. That's no. going to be a nice tackle by Noah Long coming up to push him out of bounds. Luke, really nice job by the secondary. Benjamin Russell out there had everybody covered up. He had no choice but to run, and they covered the run. Good job. 
is going to bring up second down. They're going to say he got right back to the line of scrimmage. Looking to the sideline for a play. Quarterback is Logan Coppage. That's him. Coppage is going to pitch it out. Ooh. Dangerous play. We got the now ball. They're going to call that a fumble. fumble. I that was uh, forward. That, 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 it looked forward to me. And yeah. going, they are going to call it a fumble, though, yes. Wes. From, we had a beautiful vantage point. We that did. was definitely that forward, was forward, but Wildcats back. are going to get a break. Wow. Wildcats are going to get a break. They're going to call that a fumble. They Here's the catch. They wanted it to be backwards. Right. And now a referee may be coming in and switching that. That was forward. It was forward. And so yeah, if they question. correct it, so be it. But I don't mind being the beneficiary yeah. of a referee's miscue. <laughs> We've all been on the other side of this. Sure have. Not? Sure have. Yeah, they no. don't have any instant replay. Yeah. And now in they're saying incomplete. incomplete. Yeah. And I, I know our crowd, over, I'm over That's here with you. We may be coming in and switching that. That was, I'm on the same <laughs> side. I'm just telling you like I see it. Yeah. And Wes, I mean, you, you were right on the line. I, I was. It, it was, was not a pretty play. Yeah. There was a lot yeah. wrong with that play for Jillian County. <laughs> and, and a great job by Benjamin Russell uh, to be Johnny on the spot to still get on the ball. Yeah. All right, so that's going to bring up third and long now. Great start for the Wildcat defense after giving up a big return. If they can force a punt right here, that would be huge. Uh, this is going to be play oh. action. Looking deep. He's got a man. Goes up and can't come oh, down with it. He's really tapped nice. around a few times. Yeah. Great play. Is that number two number, for number Mitchell five, Russell? Number five. Number five. That's, okay. Kendrick, uh, Kendrick Bird. Okay. Yeah. Kendrick he, Bird. He was open for a bit. He was. I don't think the quarterback Coppage could get it that far. He was open. He had five man. Excuse me, five yards yeah. on Bird. Uh, but it would have been a long throw. That would have been about 50 yards in the air. Yeah. So it's going to be a punt coming up. Punt coming up for Chilton County right now. The defensive end bit on the action, and so the quarterback got the boot easily, and he was open for just a minute. That's one of those things where I'm not going to call out which defensive end bit on that. Because no, no, a, no. Again, this is a fake punt. He's got him open. Oh, it's oh a gosh. terrible pass, <laughs> and it falls. That was a great play. He could have walked Terrible in. execution, <laughs> and the Wildcats catch another break, and they will take over at about the 50-yard line. So fantastic field position to start. For that Benjamin that fooled me. I couldn't find it. Well, it fooled me, but the, the snap went right to the up man who turned and threw it a bullet, a bullet. to the, a, a man that was wide open, but he threw it a, a bit of a worm burner. He could have walked it, in yeah. if yeah. he had caught it. There's no doubt. I mean, no, he would have no had to doubt. get by the uh, return guy, but I think he had a good shot at yeah, that I now. Mean, yeah. What you typically do after a turnover on downs or a turnover is you go deep. Yep. Let's see what the Wildcats decide to do. Nope, they're going to – yeah, they are. They're going to – Try something here, flip it over to Morgan. Morgan's got some space. He's going to get a first down. UAB Cardiology Associates first down. Really That's nice be job, Sedarian Morgan. I'll tell you something. It's not hard to pick out where Sedarian Morgan is. No. Like, I'm having trouble yeah. reading some of these letters because I'm 50 and my eyes aren't good. <laughs> but Sedarian Morgan, look for the guy that's taller than some of these lampposts. Yeah. Good-looking athlete. Very good-looking athlete. Now, in the backfield by himself, he brings Malcolm Simmons across. He's going to hand sweep. it off to him. No, oh. he's going to fake it. He's going to go straight up the middle, and he's got some room. There goes Gabe Benton. He's down to the 11 again, just like last time, about the exact same run. Unbelievable. That's about the same length as the last run he pushed out at the exact same spot. What a great fake yes. to Malcolm Simmons. I thought Malcolm had the ball. Well, the world he did because, ball. I mean, that's what most people are going to do. And yeah. so I think that's why the fake works. Well, so well, I said speed sweep on yep. the air. That's what it was, and he pulled it. There's going to be another handoff to not Wilson this time, but there is a huge hole. Wes, help me out. That was uh, – was that – Jack Norris. Norris with yeah. on the carry, number yeah. four? Okay. Yes. Uh, sophomore running back. He's still in the backfield is Norris. He's probably two Gabe Benton's that, right. right. He's going to get the handoff again. Nowhere to go this time, so he cut, bounces it out. He's going to get a couple of yards. They can get a first down without getting a touchdown. Well, he's a shifty little runner, isn't he? Yeah, he's diminutive. But, you know, sometimes that's good. You get behind those big blockers, they can't find you. Hey, don't, don't use words I can't spell. <laughs> diminutive. <laughs> I like it. I'll avoid prepositions then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so Gabe Benton now going to hand it off again. Oh, my goodness, that oh, time. Look at oh, this. Wilson's going to spin out of the tackle, cut it to the left, wow. and score again. Wilson having a marvelous game so far. Number 26 for Chilton County shot through the line 
That's to Corey Jackson and laid a lick on Wilson. And I was all ready to be disappointed, but Wilson spins right out of it, cuts to the left, and he's gone. Another touchdown for Benjamin Russell. Pinball Wilson. Kick filet comes in for another one. I'm rolling with that. You are. <laughs> Kick filet. I like it too. You like that, Lloyd? Sponsorship available. <laughs> Sponsorship available. She loves it. Left footed kick it. Kicker. Nice. And up and good. Yep. That's in the parking Big leg. Line. So 14 Michael nothing Murphy. now. Kick. Great start for Benjamin Russell. 645 left to go in the first. 14 nothing Wildcats. You Save Auto Rental of Alex City has moved to 1185 Cherokee Road across from the Cherokee Pure. Our new offices are open, and at You Save, we're putting you back in the auto rental with personalized local service and the best rates in town. Whether your vehicle's in the shop or business or vacation travel, You Save has you covered with a large fleet of cars, SUVs, and vans. When you need a rental, call or visit You Save on Cherokee Road, where they always have you covered. Lake Martin Tractor and Outdoor wants you to know we appreciate a great year from all of East Central Alabama, and now our inventory of superior zero-turn mowers from Spartan and Mahindra Tractors is on the move. Shop Lake Martin Tractor for outstanding deals, finance rates as low as 0% and low payments. Spartan mowers as low as $84 per month. Mahindra four-wheel drive tractors and loader packages as low as $3.99 per month, including cutter, box blade, and 20-foot trailers. Spring into 22 at Lake Martin Tractor and Outdoor, Highway 280 in Alexander City, or online, lakemartintractor.com. At CNT Electric, our clients are our priority. For the safety and security of your family and home, our technicians are professionally trained, drug tested, background checked, and wear uniforms with name tags. We're proud to have served the Elk City, Dadeville, and Lake Martin areas for the past 10 years. Give us a call at 256-234-0007 for all your electrical service and repair needs. Or visit us on the web at www.cntelectricllc.com and spell out the word AND. Alex City Internal Medicine and Nephrology and Weight Loss Center provides optimum care for the whole person. Dr. Demo Popov specializes in the prevention and diagnosis of high blood pressure, kidney disease, diabetes, and acute and chronic conditions. Our weight loss clinic offers lipo shots and a guide to healthy weight loss. Alex City Internal Medicine and Nephrology and Weight Loss Center, where lifestyle changes are made. Heritage South Credit Union, your community credit union, is looking for the next hometown hero. Hometown heroes could be first responders, public service workers, community leaders, pastors, community volunteers, or anyone who is making a difference in your hometown. Submit your nominations now online at myhscu.com. And if your nominee is selected, they will get a $100 Visa cash card and a certificate of appreciation from Heritage South Credit Union, your community credit union. Federally insured by the NCUA. Welcome to Alex City Food Shop, your locally owned and operated shell station located at Highway 280 and Airport Drive. Fill up with Shell V-Power Nitro Plus Premium Gasoline and get the best total engine protection you can get, period. Stop by anytime, day or night, open 24-7, and check out the great specials on all your favorite convenience store items. Keep that car clean with a touch-free car wash, where your six wash is always free. Also, be sure to use your FRN and Winn-Dixie Reward Card and save on all of your gasoline purchases. the staff members of Radney and Langley Funeral Home have been friends in time of need and we are dedicated to honoring, sharing and preserving the amazing and inspirational stories of life. You got a friend. Sun Agent Cuisine, 993 Airport Drive in Alexander City open Monday through Wednesday 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Thursday through Saturday 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. closed Sundays with occasional entertainment and drinks with a bite. Great food like shrimp and rice, sesame chicken with stir-fried veggies, just to name a few. Call 256-392-4446. Sarath and Son say, we look forward to seeing you. 
Jimmy Worthy with Worthy Plumbing and Construction is carrying on a great family tradition, proudly serving the Lake Martin area and doing new construction, plumbing repairs, remodels, and a whole lot more. So keep this number handy, 205-936-4705. That's Worthy Plumbing and Construction. Again, the number to call is 205-936-4705. That's Mr. Jeremy Worthy. Back at Chilton County Stadium. I also want to apologize to Karen Chanel State Farm because I owe you two spots. I'll just randomly throw them out there. How about that? Karen Chanel State Farm, your local State Farm agent for Lake Martin, where you're not a number, you are a neighbor. Benjamin Russell has scored twice, 14 to nothing, two very methodical drives, no real big plays. I mean, I guess Gabe Benton's runs, both of them around 20, 25 yards or so, yeah. Wes. They were nice. They were big enough. But for the most part, this is just gut-punching Chilton County down the field. Luke, you, you couldn't start it any better. You got two touchdown drives, and sandwiched between that's a three and out from Chilton County. You couldn't have started any better. Murphy set to kick it off again. Toe meets leather ball in the air, and this is returnable again. A little deeper this time. It is a little fair deeper. Did, they thought he fair caught it. At least I did. He did. And this I, is going to be another big did. return out to the 45. And the officials just let it go. It, it certainly looked to me oh, he did. like he fair caught it. But, um, again, they're going to say he didn't. And it's, let's go say they're going to put it at the 46, I believe, the, uh, the PA announcer yes. just said. So, Chilton County. That's two breaks for them. So that far. is two breaks. Well, they're, they're actually going to put it, they're going to bring it back. Yeah. There must have been a penalty uh, because they're going to bring it back to 36. 37. I think he stepped yeah. out. Oh, he must have stepped out. Okay. Uh, so it's going to be Chilton County ball again. Coppage in the backfield. Now he's got three players in the backfield with him. A lot of movement before the snap, but they get the handoff. Wow. And coming right up, the Wildcats are all over that one. Going to be a gain of maybe two and a half to the 40 yard line. Looked like number 17 in there, Caden Hyde on that tackle, Luke. Boy, Benjamin Russell came to play this evening. He really did. This is a, a is a big game for us. It is. We talked about that in the pregame. This yeah. is a must game it for is. the Wildcats. Well, and the other thing we said is must game for Chilton County, so we assume yeah. they would come out a little bit or more ready to play. But uh, so far, it's been all Wildcats. Another handoff and another great uh, stop at the line for Benjamin Russell maybe gets that extra half yard that I talked about before. So it's going to bring up third and a short seven or a long six. Yeah. At the point of attack, Benjamin Russell's winning the winning the war right now. And you you know if you're Chilton County, you definitely don't want to give the ball right back to Benjamin Russell no. after those two drives because once they start wearing you down, Wes, you've seen them more than I have. I bet you that's when they start sending Malcolm Simmons deep. Yeah, no doubt. Coppage looking for the play from the sideline. Waits the snap, gets it. A little play action. They didn't bite this time. They wow. can't complete it. Or did they say he caught it? They did. Yeah. No, no. Wow. He's he gonna. Did. They're gonna give him the catch. Wow. And is it a first he's down? Short. It is very I, close. He's short, I think. Yeah. It's 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 he's fourth short. and maybe half a yard. Yeah. I thought he dropped that ball. Of course, all the action was on the other end of the. The stadium, and we're not up in a press box, people. We are at the top of the stadium seating, and it didn't. This isn't Bryant Denny or Jordan Hare. I mean, this is high school stadium seating, so we we can't see everything on the other side. Kendrick Bird almost picked that off. Well, now they're going to call it fourth and two. From our vantage point, it looks more like a fourth and one, but they are going to punt this away, and the punt is in the air, and it's not going to be returnable. Malcolm Simmons was back there to get it, and it just really bounces straight up in the air, so yeah. they'll down it. At the 16-yard line, that's where Benjamin Russell will take over. Let's just keep it right here for a second, guys. 4.38 left to go in the first. Man, I don't see anything to complain about so far with Benjamin Absolutely Russell. Absolutely not. You couldn't have asked for a better uh, start. Uh, Brett and Randy may let us do next week if, if this keeps up. <laughs> they may just no, stay up in I, Maine. I, I, they, I doubt yeah. it. <laughs> They'll well, be back. Hey. I like lobster. Why don't I get invited to Maine? <laughs> Uh, Gabe Benton now will go under center. No, he's not. He's still back. I'm sorry. He's moved back. So now it's going to be another quarterback draw. He's going to go right up the middle, and he's going to pick up a nice yeah. four or five yards, trying to get down there for another Karen Chanel State Farm touchdown. 
I, I don't think other than the, the little screen pass to Malcolm Simmons that Riddick blew up, I don't think we've had a negative play, not even close. You know, no. it's one other thing that we talked about. Yeah, you're right, David. We've been assuming that they're going to uh, get the ball to Malcolm Simmons a lot more. He's gotten that one pass. Mm -hmm. That's it. And yeah. But you know what? Benjamin Russell's doing great. So uh, it's working. Don't quit it. They are going to try and get it. Nope, they're going to pull it back again. Gabe Benton's going deep. He's got a man. It's Morgan. And it's going to be picked oh. off. Oh, nice play by number four for Chilton County, Jershawn Binion. He's been having a big year. Yeah. He is a three-star. He has some nice, nice offers out there. He played the ball, ball very well, a lot smaller than Sedarian Morgan, but the ball was a little bit high, and it seemed, and Binion was a little faster. He was able to get to it. Yeah, he was. And the, the other mistake that Gabe made right there is he, he just threw into a double team. Yeah, I mean, he was, did. There was two defenders. Well, David, let me tell you why I like that, though. They have been just gashing them all the way down. I like the fact you say that we it, still go challenge them. You challenge them. Absolutely. And yeah, the way the yeah. defense is playing, yeah. it, it offers you that opportunity. Of course, yeah. you don't ever want to have a turnover. but um, And check this out. They fake the speed sweep to Simmons again. Eventually, they're going to give it to him. Yeah, and that's going to be a problem for them. Uh, nice first run this time for Chilton County. Going to pick up, it uh, looks like about five yards. I'll bring up second and five. Trying to get some of these tacklers. It's just hard to see these numbers. <laughs> So it's going to be second and a short six, they're going to call it. Probably Chil the best running play they've had so far. And let me tell you this, David. If I'm uh, Chilton County, I'm thinking i got to get a drive. i got to get a first down. Yeah. we got to get our defense i got to the get them, give them a rest. I mean, they just made a big play for you, and there's going to be a penalty. Yeah, false start. False start. Yep. And, again, <laughs> Wes, you tell me if I'm wrong, but a few times I've felt like the line has moved before the snap anyway, yeah. but it's been – in sync with everybody, so maybe it's a little more difficult to yeah, tell. Yeah, I, I mean, I think so. I really do. Children needs a first down, bad. No first downs at all. Well, yeah, they, they, they they need a they they need some semblance of a drive right here, right. for sure. I mean, you don't want to give Benjamin Russell the ball back. No, no, not at all. With a not chance to all. score again very quickly, because I assume after taking that one shot, Benjamin Russell say, like, "Okay, let's go with what we know and yep. just uh, gash him down the field again." All right, it's Coppage in the backfield. He's going to hand it off again, and nice little run. He's going to get that penalty yardage back. It's going to make it third and about five, I believe, for Chilton County. So big play for the Wildcats defense, big opportunity here. They have not given up a first down yet. It's about a long three, Luke, maybe a long two, short three. Yeah. No, he moved it back now. Wow. <laughs> Man with a stick got a little aggressive there. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, they're going to say third, third and, and five. four. Yeah, they're going to say yeah. third and four, but – Let's see if the Wildcats can stiffen up right here. Another handoff right up the middle, and no, they do sir. stiffen up. In fact, I think that may be a loss of about a half yard. It's a wonderful play by Benjamin Russell again. Everything Chilton County's gotten, Luke and Wesley, has been off the tackle outside. I don't know why they tried to go up the middle on third and five. Well, this is going to be – they're going to call it, you know, fourth and about the same amount of yardage, and it looks like they're going to go for it. Whew. Interesting play call. Watch the, watch the ball. Yeah. Oh, good call, Wes. Yeah. They try to drop, draw, uh, draw them off. Yep. Now we got a timeout. But you know, I still wouldn't be surprised if they went for it. Yeah. We do have a timeout now, and that is brought to you by Tallapoosa Ford, Lake Martin's Ford dealer, with all models in stock and ready for you. They may have seen the defense and wanted a timeout to change the call. Either that, or they said, "Oh, we're going to punt it." We'll see. I'll tell you, I don't have a problem if they do want to go for it. Look, in high school, with the way the clock system is, yeah. the shorter quarters, uh, I mean, you, you give up the ball now. Uh, if you punt to Benjamin Russell, they have shown, we're going to get down the field. So you might as well take a shot here if you want to stay in this game. Let's see if they do punt, but it looks like they're coming out for offense. Well, it's hard to tell. Yeah. Riddick is on the field, so it looks like they're going to punt. Yeah. But they've already tried the fake. That's the other problem. You know, Benjamin Russell's going to be ready for right. anything like that now. Because the Benjamin Russell coaches had their defense on the field, and then they, they had to make the change when they saw the set. Well, one thing I didn't notice before is DeMarcus Riddick is actually the punter. Yeah. Is that right? He sure is. Sure is, yeah. But, you know, that is so often in high school you see that. Absolutely. Yeah. Pun is away. This is a line see, driver, Malcolm. and this is returnable. Uh -oh. That's uh -oh. a problem. Malcolm Sims has it. He's trying to get to the corner, nowhere to go. Now he's going to cut back and go the other way. And he's got a lot of space. He's gone. He's gone. 
He's, he's going to get by the first man. Now he's by the 50. Oh, he's, he's moving. He's juking. Oh, he finally is knocked down. He had it, too. At about the 40, 46. <laughs> David, I like you called your shot at about the 40. I did. <laughs> he had a, he had a lot of people to go by, though, brother. A lot. When I, but when I saw him reverse fields, I saw, well, I know what he can do. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and here's the other thing. You're talking about a punter. When we get a chance, if we get a chance to see him punt tonight, we might not the way things are going. Yeah, again, if I'm Chilton County, I'm thinking if I do punt it, best case scenario, we they down it wherever it's punted. But worst case, Malcolm re returns it for a big return like that, and they have it right where it was going to be. Now they swing it over here. This is Morgan. Morgan's got the ball, and he gets by his man. He's still running. He's going to get it down to the 20-yard line of Chilton County. That's going to be a UAB yeah. Cardiology yeah. Associates first down. 143 left to go here in the first. 14 to nothing, BRHS. The other problem with that punt, Luke, was that it was a line drive, and they didn't yeah. have time to cover. No, it. not at all. Malcolm caught it in the air. Well, he had plenty of time to survey the field about where he wanted to go. Mm -hmm. Gabe Bitten in the shotgun still. Wilson Big to George his left. He's going to hand there. it to Wilson. Wilson, who's already had a wonderful night with two Good touchdowns. Good stiff arm. Good stiff arm again, and yep. he was trying to get by uh, number one for Chilton County, and that is D.J. Caffey. Do we have an injury on the field? We do have a timeout or maybe a penalty. So Wes, has uh, Wilson been the starting? Yeah, sure has. Sure year? has. All, the, all year long. I like him. Yeah, yeah, he's talented. He's really unheralded. I mean, you think about being the running back in this system where you've got Sedarian Morgan, you got Malcolm Simmons, you got Gabe Benton, um, you, you've got some other kids that are very explosive at the wide receiver position. Nobody talks about the running back. And remember, Chris Foster's not playing. Yeah. Now. Got hurt. Yeah. Yeah. How long is he out, West? Do you know? I, I saw him maybe two weeks. Okay. Definitely want him back uh, for some of these big contests coming up like Briarwood and Helena. Yeah. Okay, so there was a penalty. That's going to push Benjamin Russell back a little bit. We hadn't gotten clarification on what that penalty was, but it's second and 15, so I'm going to assume holding. And Gabe Benton wastes the snap, fakes to Wilson, throws it out to Simmons. Simmons with a little wide receiver screen. He can't go anywhere. He's tackled again, uh, this time by number 26, who's had a nice game. We've called his name a few times. Is that the three-star? That's No, that's uh, Nazia Dijarnet. Mm, okay. Ah. Uh, there have uh, been some great Dijarnets come through Chilton County High School athletes. I'm sure he's kin somewhere down the line. That was a bad idea, Malcolm, trying to reverse that one. Yeah. yeah. So he had the angle on him. So that's going to bring up third and 18 after a loss of three. 30 seconds left to go in the first. Gabe Benton looking deep, looking deep. Got plenty of time, all the time in the world. Still looking for somebody. Find somebody ah. near the sideline, but just a bit off with the yeah. pass. I think they was trying to get to Malcolm Simmons. Yeah. And just a bit off with the pass. It wouldn't have been a first down anyway, I don't think. It would have been very close. And Run, now Running to his left, he really didn't get his shoulders turned. Yeah. yeah. Now it's third and it's fourth and 18, excuse me. 21.6 seconds left to go in the first. I think that there's no sense in not going for it. What are you it's looking it, at? With? It says third down on the on right hey, here. Now no, it's I fourth mean, down. Oh, right okay. Here. Now wait a minute. That is true. Right. On the scoreboard, it says fourth down. On the on the the down marker, it says third down. I'm not sure. And look, yeah. they are the, that's what Coach Smitty Ryder is talking to the officials yeah. about. You can hear him on the sideline. He's saying, "Is it third?" Or he is wants it to make sure. The referee is trying to explain it to him. And now they're going to, are they going to get a delay a game? They're going to call oh, delay no. a game. I mean, and, and Coach Crowder. Uh, pushing it up. Yeah. No, I okay. don't think so. so. They did throw the flag. Yeah. So. So what is it? They still have not let us know <laughs> if it's third or. Well, is the it stick fourth. says third. I'm going with third. Yeah, I am too. So Gabe Benton drops back. He's being Run pressured. Right. He's he got plenty of room. Instead, he is going to throw it. And he tried to. Was that Simmons again? Did he drop that one? Or is that number no. six? Gabe could have run that for 20 here. yards. Okay. Yeah, Gabe could have easily run that for 20 yards. I'm with you on that. He had a lot of space. Now Now they're saying fourth down. And I just uh, think the clock operator is struggling tonight a little bit. Well, join the club, buddy. <laughs> Gabe Benton <laughs> waiting on the snap. It is going to be fourth down and 18 now. Brad yeah. said just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Gabe Benton gets the snap. False now there's start. false start on uh, BHS. Yeah. You're getting no, to the timeout. Oh, timeout, Chilton County. Yep. Okay. 
No time. Yeah, it is timeout, Chilton County. Let's just keep it right here. I don't know if y'all discussed uh, last week. It was Smith Station last week, right? Yeah. Russell. And I'm not. I, I, excuse me for not remembering exactly when this happened, but uh, have you? Has everybody talked about the passing of Johnny Nolan? Oh, well, um, no just, doubt. Uh, incredibly sad. Yes. Boy, you know, I went to beer uh, to Ellick City Middle School and elementary school and, and everything like that. And um, you hadn't had Gatorade till you had Gatorade made by Johnny Nolan, right, Wes? Uh, no <laughs> doubt, no doubt. He's a, a good guy, man, just an awesome dude. He was a he was a, a really, really – and you were talking about Mr. BRHS, like all-time Mr. BRHS. Yeah. If you can make a BRHS all-time team, he's going to be on the sideline. He's the bobblehead. In some capacity. And, um, boy, you know he's upstairs watching this one right now and uh, – our thoughts and prayers certainly go out to his family and everybody that cared about him. I was a guy everybody knew and everybody liked. So um, here we Middle go with fourth down. Gabe Benton looking, 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 throws it deep into big time coverage and almost into the tunnel. So that's going to be a turnover on downs with six seconds left to go here in the first. That was the longest 33 seconds of my life. <laughs> there again, Luke, I know Gabe wants to throw the football. But there was nobody in the middle of the field. Yeah. Yeah. I saw that. Yeah. Well, and uh, I think he was going for Malcolm Simmons. I'll tell you, in that scenario, correct me if I'm wrong, Wes, please, because right. you've seen a lot more. I think I'm going to throw it up to Sedarian Morgan. Now, that would have been a tough uh, completion. And, uh, uh, sure. No doubt. But he's also 6'5", six, 6'6". Six, six. No, I'm talking yeah. about the one yeah. that he threw. Oh, okay. I got to, you. To Malcolm. Yeah. That would have been a better option maybe. All right, so let's see if BRHS can get another stop on defense. They've done a great job so far, 14 to nothing. BRHS on top. Six seconds left to go here in the first. This first uh, quarter's taking a while. I tell you this, Luke, Chilton County has been on their side of the field All this lot. entire quarter. Now they're going to try a quarterback draw, and that's not going to work out very well. <laughs> that's a that's a form tackle, folks, by number nine, and Quavius Mar and Marbury. Quavius Marbury, sophomore. Yep. He was broke down and ready to rock. That's going to be the end of the first quarter. Your score, BRHS 14, Chilton County 0. At Russell Medical, we're proud of our exceptional nurses, like Nurse Brandy Worthy. Brandy represents the selfless, compassionate clinical leader patients expect and coworkers admire. Brandy was recently honored with the Nightingale Award for nursing excellence for her high standards, sound judgment, and caring manner. Her passion for her profession inspires us all. Being a nurse is not just what you do, it's who you are. I'm proud to be a part of the nursing team at Russell Medical. We are the link between all hospital services, providing you with exceptional, personalized care. Satterfield Outdoor Living is Lake Martin's trusted friend for your outdoor land and leisure needs. We're the region's authorized skag mower dealer for residential and commercial lawns and offer all the small engine accessories you need. With top lines of steel, Echo, Shindaiwa, Husqvarna, and Matabo products that can tame any landscape. Satterfield is also your grill headquarters with Big Green Egg Grill and our pros service everything in-house and back up all sales. Get the Satterfield Outdoor difference on Highway 280 right across from Tallapoosa Ford. Passion, the obsession that burns within. Determination, the burning desire to make it. Drive, the motivation to be the absolute best. Skills, the tools to perform at the highest level. Excellence, the feeling of achievement. At Central Alabama Community College, you can release your passion, show your determination, display your drive, and showcase your skills to achieve excellence. Central Alabama Community College, central to you, central to your success. Since 1908, many talented tradesmen and women have proudly represented the Dixie Electric Plumbing and Air name. We are grateful for their commitment to excellence, always providing our clients with quality work that we're glad to guarantee you with 100% satisfaction. No matter the problem, the Dixie Electric team is here for you, serving the Montgomery and Auburn areas. Thank you for choosing a locally owned company. For more information, go to calldixie.com. Call Dixie. Hillaby Towers is an affordable senior citizens community located in Alexander City on Highway 22 East. Spacious one bedrooms are available now. Great location, peaceful setting, comfortable living where pets are allowed and utilities are included. Call today to find out more information on Alexander City's best kept secret, 256-329-0552. That's Hillaby Towers in Alexander City.
Byrne Chanel, your State Farm agent in Alexander City, Alabama, and the greater Lake Martin area. I want to talk to you a little bit today about your discounts. How many of you are entitled to discounts that you may or may not be receiving? One of the easiest discounts on your homeowner's insurance is that of having a fire extinguisher. Coupled with a deadbolt lock and a smoke alarm, that gives you an automatic discount on your homeowner's policy. Russell Dewitt Center and building supply stores have the tools and materials to get the job done right, whether you're a professional contractor or just a weekend do-it-yourselfer. With everyday customer conveniences like a drive through lumber yard, price match promise, and our best rewards program, each of our nine locations offer top brands and building materials like lumber, hardware, tools, paint, lawn and garden, and much more. Visit today and see what Russell Dewitt Center and Building Supply can help you build tomorrow. The all-new Triple R Cafe in Rockford is open and the place for true Southern-style cooking. Open Tuesday through Saturday in downtown Rockford on US 231. The Triple R Cafe serves up true Southern cooking with a meat and three for lunch. And on Friday and Saturday, get the best dinners in the area with fresh from the garden vegetables. Guff-style scallops and shrimp and bayou-style alligator. Central Alabama's new place for Southern-style cooking with a down-home atmosphere. That's the all-new Triple R Cafe in downtown Rockford. As the heat of summer fades and cooler temperatures come calling, we look forward to that feeling of fall. It's the perfect time to be outdoors with family and friends and a great time to be alive. Make sure your heart is ready for the season with an appointment at the UAB Heart and Vascular Clinic at Russell Medical. I'm Dr. Kevin Sutherland and our entire clinic is dedicated to keeping your heart healthy. We're right here in your own community and backed by the knowledge and expertise of UAB Medicine. Make an appointment today by calling 256-234-2644 or visit uabmedicine.org slash heart Russell. Back to live action now with Chilton County and the ball second and 10. I can't believe they didn't say he lost any orders there. He's gonna try and get out of the pocket looking for anybody. He's gonna throw this one deep into the sidelines. That's going to go out of bounds. This Wildcat defense just getting in, giving up anything. And no. we were talking about that last play where it should have been for a loss. They're saying it's only third and ten. But Caleb Spivey is a wonderful player, only a freshman, leads the team in sacks. I believe he leads them in tackles for loss too, does he not? Uh, maybe, yeah. Um, he has 40 tackles on the year. Uh, this is a kid that's going to be a, a name in recruiting circles in the years to come. Absolutely. So it's going to be third and 10 for Chilton County. Another fake handoff, trying to go deep. Looking for DeMarcus Riddick. There's going to be a flag. That's a good play. I called Riddick, it, too. Yeah, they did. Yep. Riddick went deep. Did he catch he, the ball? He, he called it. He called it. That was the ball. Yeah. I thought he dropped it, but he caught it? I think so. I can't. I thought he dropped it and then just let the ball go. Um, but maybe he did catch it. If he catches it, they're obviously going to take the catch. I don't think he caught it because they're coming back. Yeah, they're. Yeah. That's going to be – that's clearly yeah, pass interference right. on Benjamin Russell, and so be it because that would have been a touchdown if you don't have that. That was DeMarcus Riddick. That was, was DeMarcus Riddick. Was. Be, and, again, that's, that's what you should be doing. Absolutely. Is, DeMarcus Riddick is the best player on your team. Get him the ball. I know that he's a linebacker. I know that's what he's going to play at Auburn. But right now you're trying to win at Chilton County. Well, other than Malcolm Simmons, and that would be still arguable, he's the best athlete on the field. Correct. First down of the half for Chilton. That's the first first down. Yeah, yeah and it's by penalty. Yeah. 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 So, great, again, great effort by Benjamin Russell Wildcat defense so far. Coppage waiting on the snap, gets it, snap, looks back, looks back. Here comes some pressure. He's going to have to hurry to get rid of this one. Finally just throws it away, and it was almost in a bad spot. Bunch Luke, of Wildcats over there. Luke, Wesley, when, when Coppage just drops straight back and stays in the pocket, he has no chance. Yeah, they have no. to boot him or get him out of the pocket yep. for him to be able to see anything down the field. Well, and here's the other problem. I think Benjamin Russell bit on that first play action that we talked about. Yes. Since then, they hadn't been biting, and it's so slow yeah. developing, that's yeah. going to get him hammered here. Yeah. Uh, Cornelius Bennett, Steve Berline style, 86 in Legion Field. Coppage in the backfield. He's looking for a man now. He finds him, and this is going to nice. be a tackle for about a one-yard loss. And who was that? Number 17. Number 17. Number 17. That's, all yeah. right. Hyde, Caden, Caden Hyde. Hyde. All right. I like that. That was a sure tackle. Yep. Absolutely. 
That's, see, why, see, that's why we like sitting out here amongst the people. They can, we don't need a roster. They'll just tell us. E -E -E yeah. We are BR. <laughs> we are We are the people. They're keeping us straight, and we appreciate it. <laughs> All right, there's, again, they don't say that was a loss of yard. That was clearly a loss of a yard. Yeah. All right, whatever. Coppage is going to get the snap, drops back, run a screen play. Screen. Good play, but Benjamin Russell right there all over it. Yep. They're going to stop him about three or four yards short of the first down. It's on the 40, let's call it 48 and a half of the Wildcats. And what? let's see if they go for the. Now they're going to move it back to the 49. So it's about a four yard uh, to go situation. Are they going to punt it again? Looks like it. Yeah, we only rushed four right there. I know, they're, but, they're, but they're coming. That's about the best play that they can run is a little screen pass. Right yeah. There. It wouldn't shock me if they start doing a little bit more of that to try and keep BRHS honest because they are teeing off right yeah. now. Absolutely. They don't have a sack yet, but they've come really, really close to a bunch of them. Okay, now this is uh, New number, punter. number 13 punting. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, mercy. And, and the ball hits the ground, but he gets it. My goodness, nice punt for that situation. The snap uh, yeah. got to him. Well, you see where style. they kicked it, Luke. They weren't, yeah. they weren't going to kick it to Malcolm that time. Well, again, if you're going to kick to Malcolm, if your decision is to kick to Malcolm or to go for it, just go for it. <laughs> in in that situation, I mean, is again. Um, That's exactly right. I, I just don't see what you gain out of punting in that situation. But, hey, good for BRHS. So back the other way come the Wildcats, going right to left. Once again, they're starting on their 20-yard line. Oh, this is Benjamin Russell, my bad. Yeah. Doesn't matter where Benjamin Russell starts <laughs> tonight. Oh. oh, let's see if we're going to get a penalty there. Yeah, like I don't a face think that's, mask to me. It was close to a face mask. He might have just gotten him around the shoulder pads and jerked him around, but it looked, it looked pretty bad. <laughs> When he goes up to adjust his helmet, it kind of makes me feel like. <laughs> yeah, second and eight. Got yanked on a little bit. Gabe looking to pass, does to Malcolm Simmons. Malcolm Simmons looking for an alley, can't find one. It's going to be a fumble. Malcolm it. Simmons fumbled, and did Chilton County get on it? Was he down? Well, they're not calling him down. They're look It's looking as though they're looking for the ball. The refs are amongst the pile, and Benjamin Russell may have gotten it back. Let's see. Simmons got it back. He did lose the ball for it. Actually, no, that's number 11 who got the ball back. That's Wilson who went in there and got the ball, it looks like. Good for him. Heads up play. No, that was Simmons. Excuse me. Boy, these yeah. numbers are. Uh, you, you know Wes, how do y'all do this every week? <laughs> They're a little higher got, up there. Got, at the got good eyes, thing. I yeah. guess. Uh, so he did get his own fumble. Uh, gain of about seven. That's going to bring up third and one. Well, and no. Chilton. First down, I think. Well, now, yeah. Look, the marker has fourth down. I know, down. I know it. That's got third down. I'm just taking a shot. Let's, I got I, a one and four shot at it. Just quit looking at the scoreboard. <laughs> All right, yeah. Gabe Benton is going to be first down again. They're going to hand it off to Wilson. Wilson's going to run up the middle. Nice wow. run there. Good so blocking. So, UAB cardiologist first down. He runs hard. He does run hard. Now, again, are we supposed to be doing the score operator stuff? Because <laughs> somebody's – literally dropping the ball. Now they're saying first and 10, and it's second down on the yeah, marker. Just, yeah. I'm going by the marker. I would. All right, this is going to be another handoff to Wilson. Wilson finds Goodness an alley. Gracious. He's going to get cut. another first down. He is taking half of Chilton County with him. When, when he finds that crease north and south, he is talented. That's a great job right there. Now, everybody can get this one right. That's a first down. That's another <laughs> UAB cardiologist first down. You're going to be saying UAB cardiologist in your sleep tonight. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. Uh, almost drew the defender offside. Did Gabe Benton with a quick clap there. Still waiting on the snap. Eight minutes to go here in the first. Going to hand it off to Wilson again. Good idea. Wilson's going to pick up another five, maybe six yards on the last ditch effort there. Can't wait to see his statistics. Kudos to this offensive line once yes. again. Hat on a hat, driving guys, and then and Wilson's finding the creases. Very impressive. I still like to see Malcolm get that speed sweep before we're done. I'm with you. The only thing I would say is that if you're getting seven yards every time Wilson touches it, what's – No, that's, yeah. that's why I'm with yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm probably It's probably wishful thinking. Yeah, at this point, <laughs> you don't have to do anything fancy. I mean, right up the middle is working. Yeah. I'm sure Coach Grider would like to get one more score on the board before halftime. 
We're going to get a timeout, sure. I think, called by Benjamin Russell here. A little bit of confusion on their sideline. That's going to be their second timeout of the half. Uh, Wilson, uh, Wes, I don't know if you have it there, but Wilson's got to be approaching 100 yards. Yeah, let me see. Let's see. Making Wesley work over there. I yeah. know, that's my bad. I had an app I used probably five years, I mean, for four years. It went away. The app? The app, the went, app away? went away. Well, now, you kind of sound like my mama a little bit. Like, no, you know I'm, you can still find it. It's in the app store somewhere, right? What I mean is. Oh, they quit doing the app. Quit doing okay. the app. Okay. Yeah. No. I'm not. You know, it's like when my mama said, hey, why don't no. you send me a Gmail? I said, I will send you an email. She goes, no, I got Gmail. Oh. So and I, I said, was, wait a minute. Was now all, it's was pen and paper. Data, is all your data gone on that, too? I mean, last year when oh, I did. Oh, oh, okay, not okay, this okay, year. Okay, okay. Now it's pen and paper. That was a Tallapoosa <laughs> Ford timeout taken by. You need to uh, find a new app. Taken by Benjamin Russell, waiting on the snap is Gabe Benton. He's going to drop back, going to swing it over to Simmons again. Simmons trying to cut up field, and he's going to get another UAB cardiologist first down. There go, that's actually Sedarian Morgan that got that ball, is it not? Uh, no. Malcolm. Nope, that was Malcolm. Malcolm. Okay. Boy, I'm telling you, go with my first instinct. Don't I know, thank you. Don't Everybody's on putting on up a zero. Hey, y'all just throw the numbers up up there. Luke, in front Luke of us. just can't right. see over here. I'm yeah. just going to. I'm going to say the guy gets it. Hand it off to Wilson again. Wilson gets by one tackle, gets by another tackle. He's going to have another UAB cardiologist first down, it looks like. It's going to be close. One guy can't tackle him. I mean, he just – he is just running roughshod over this squad right now. If you don't gang tackle him, you're in trouble. And that is the beauty of having a Malcolm Simmons and a Sedarian Morgan. You've got to watch out for those guys. You can't really help out on the run. And if your running, running back ever gets going, it's going to be tough sledding. That is for the correct. Defense. Another handoff to Wilson. He's going to go on the right side this time. This time is one first of his down. lesser runs for about three first yards, down. but it does pick yeah, up the first down. Yeah, he just down. wanted to get the first. UAB that. cardiologist first down. You Karen Chanel State Farm score is still 14 to nothing. Thought it was going to be a lot more than that with the way Benjamin Russell started out, but frankly, this feels like a 14 to nothing. It feels like a 28 like to a nothing 20, blowout. That's yeah. exactly what I was fixing to say, Luke. It feels like a 28 to nothing blowout right now. We're in total control of this football game. They've not even threatened to score. Gabe Benton waiting on the snap, gets it. Now he's looking deep, looking deep. He's going to run this time. Tuck it and run, big man. You got it. Keep going. He's got 10 yards. He's got 12 yep. yards. UAB cardiologist first down again. This time for Gabe Benton. There's just so much space out there for him. So he he could have had about 30 more yards rushing on that last yep. drive if he'd have done that right there. There is a, an eerie silence over at the CH, CCHS side. Yeah. Um, but they hadn't had a lot to cheer about. Senior night's not panning out the way they had planned. So Gabe will be back in the shotgun, by, all by his lonesome. They got Malcolm one-on-one -on -one over there. Now they will do the speed sweep, but this time they do it to a different guy. And there, there's going to be a flag thrown. We might have a hold. It might yeah. be on Malcolm because he turned around very quickly as if say, you know, that can't be on me. That's Lejavius. says Lejavius Calhoun. Calhoun. Yeah. Listed as a DB. Yeah. Can, can run yeah. fast. Well, that is going to be a hold. I believe it's going to be on Malcolm. It's going to push him back 10 yards. We had not had that many penalties in this no. football game. Not at all. Both teams have played pretty clean football so far. Sedarian Morgan limping off a yeah. little bit right now. He's got a little limp. He don't need that. God, he is a big, tall drink of water. He's got like four knees. You seen him hoop? <laughs> Huh? Have you seen no, I haven't. I need to go see it. I've heard it's, it's, it's fun to watch. Yeah. Gabe Benton back in the shotgun. That's Wilson to his right. He's going to hand it off to Wilson. Wilson trying to get left. This time they get him for a loss. By far and away, the best defensive play outside of that interception for Chilton County tonight. We got the same brain. That's yeah. exactly what was fixed to come out of my mouth. That's the best defensive pursuit. I think you just against. insulted both of us. <laughs> <laughs> just don't use prepositions. <laughs> All right, so now it's going to bring up second and 21. Wouldn't be surprised to see Benjamin Russell try and pull out a screen of some description right here. I think if you did a, a screen to a traditional screen to the running back, 
he could break this one because they've been expect you know they've been crowding that line looking for the run and you let them through. Let's see what they do though. There's going to be another penalty. There's going to be another false start on Mitchell Russell. Just as soon as we compliment them on the lack of penalties, a couple of penalties here lately. That's going to make it second and 26. Interesting though, Luke. That as soon as that ball was snapped, both linebackers took off into coverage. So I don't know if that was a scouting situation. They knew what was coming or what. Because it definitely was going to be a pass. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. All right, Benjamin Russell is taking themselves out of field goal range here. Second and 26. Gabe Benton drops back, rolls to the right, looking deep. Comes pressure. He's going to hit nice. his man. That's Malcolm. And that's going to be a UAB cardiologist first down. That was a fantastic throw. Yep. And also give a lot of credit to that offensive line. He had plenty of time. The right end was coming around to try and make the sack, but Gabe got it loose just in time. That's going to bring up first and goal for the Wildcats. Riddick's over there. He is not happy. Yeah. But that was a great pass. Hey, it's, it's third third down. Yeah. Third it's third and two. two. That third is not going to be a first down. Wow. Yeah. Uh, that's going to be penalty. third and seven. God, I forgot. I guess I forgot they had yeah. to go 26 yards. That. But, I mean, I don't even know what to trust anymore. The scoreboard, the uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm going with Wes. I trust Wes. Absolutely. What do we have here? Is it a timeout? A timeout by Chilton County. I get. I thought it was a penalty, but I don't see I did, I did, too. Well, it, they just took off Chilton County's first timeout, did they not? On the on the side over there. Or second to penalty. Know. Second timeout, excuse me. Tell, they, me, they tell me you're not looking at the scoreboard, Luke. I am. I know. I just <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> You gonna, the scoreboard's like, you going to believe me or your lying eyes? <laughs> so they waved the penalty off. They did throw a flag, but yeah. they waved the penalty off now. They just did that, and they do say it is a timeout, Chilton County. So I, can, a, I can hear Brett Pritchard right now with the clock. Get it together, yeah. man. <laughs> it's been an adventure. We're, All right. going, we're going with the sticks from now on. Your Karen Chanel State Farm score is 14 to nothing. Benjamin Russell, it is going to be third and two. Or excuse me. Yeah, it's still going to remain third and two because they did call off that penalty. That's right. From the six-yard line, this has got Wilson written all over it. Sure it? does. Yeah. Well, it, even though we're up two touchdowns and you and I both said it feels like four, they yep. really need to put one more score on the board to, to really feel comfortable. And, and to get a, that three-score lead. Yeah. Now they have got a very big-time bunch formation. Goodness gracious. It looks like a wildcat. I can't tell. Is Gabe even back there, Wes? Can you tell me? No, yeah, this is going to be Malcolm. straight to Malcolm Simmons up the middle. He's going to get the first, first down, down, it yep. looks like. Uh, but it's going to be right at the two-yard line. So that's UAB cardiologist first down. So it'll be first and goal from the two from this point forward. Okay, question. Was Gabe lined up behind the center and they snapped to Malcolm to the side? Or was Malcolm behind the center I, and I, Gabe I was think, off? I think Malcolm, excuse me, Malcolm was behind the center. I think they're going to do it again. Same yeah. formation. This yeah. Another penalty, though. I'd be doggone. This is going to be uh, what are they calling? He's, he's pointing at Chilton. He County. is pointing at Chilton County. Uh, Did they have twelve on the field? They may have had twelve on the field. Yeah. I, I count twelve right now. <laughs> Still got twelve. <laughs> Throw it again. There he goes. Okay. Yeah. Nope. Seventy-eight. No. Big as hey. he is, it might be thirteen. Man, hey, there's three that went off. Three, <laughs> three went off. They had 14 people 14 on the field. 14 people on the field. They had 14 people on the field. How you like that one, Brett Pritchard? 14 <laughs> people on the field. Oh, no the wonder. Field. All right, well, Malcolm <laughs> Simmons still in, in in there at quarterback. He's going to run off the middle, yeah. and that was easy. Yeah. That's going to be a Karen Chanel State Farm score. Benjamin Russell, 20. And Chilton County, nothing. That was really easy. Great job by the offensive line again. I think he could have scored that play against Fort. Yeah, yeah, there's no doubt. <coughs> we'll bring in kick fillet again for the extra point. <laughs> Micah Murphy. Telling you, that sponsorship is wide open, folks. Kick fillet. And now we're going to go for two. Where we're going to we swing get? it over to the big man. Let's see, did he get in? Yeah, he did. In. It's in. 22 to nothing. Is that we Elijah? saw that same. Now, you tell me. I can't see the number. Tell me, Wes. Number it looks like they may have thrown it to Spivey. Yeah, it was Sp Spivey, Elijah Spivey. That 95, that yeah, was Spivey. 95, yep. And, you know, we saw that same play. If you were watching ESPN last Friday night, you had Clay Chalk will take it on Thompson, one of the biggest games in the country.
Clay Chalkville throws it out to Jaquan McCroy, a 6'8", 340 kid headed to Oregon, and yeah, he gets the two-point conversion. Yeah. That was very similar to that. It because was. what You're it right. is, it, but now they had split McCroy way out. Yes. Uh, they were going to do the sort of the swinging gate, it looked like BRHS was, and they just never swung. They just sw- uh, slung it over to Spivey, and he just – is able to barrel his way into the end zone. Here's my question. Has Benjamin Russell lined up in that set before this year? Right there, on an extra point. If they have, I don't understand why Chilton County wasn't ready for that. Yeah. From a coaching standpoint. If they'd never seen that before, now I understand. I think it goes back and forth, I think. Okay. Not every time. Okay. Good point, though, David. This is going to be a short kick. Will it it, oh, it. my goodness gracious. And it lands between <laughs> three Chilton kick. County players. Hey, what they, a kick. They had no idea where it was going to land. Well, it lands right in the arms of a BRHS player. That's going to be essentially the world's best inadvertent onside kick. That is the kick <laughs> fillet right there. That, that was kick fillet. <laughs> that, was. Was, that was what I get. That was the number one with extra pickles and a Coke Zero. <laughs> I'm still mad that the peak shakes went away, but it's seasonal. Oh, they got, a, they got a caramel crunch yeah. thing right now. You had one? Oh, have I had one? <laughs> I'm the only one that's still in line on Sunday. <laughs> Waiting for Monday. <laughs> Love it. Gabe Benton and shotgun. BRHS oh, gets man. the ball back. They're going to hand it off right up the middle. This is going to be another nice game. That's going to be the sophomore, number four, Norris. How do we pronounce that, Wesley? J- 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 Norris. I, let me tell you what it's not, not Jaku. Sure. I'm pretty sure that might be. Is it Jack? Are we going with Jack? J Y Q U E. Really haven't run the ball too much <laughs> all year. So yeah. <laughs> thanks, Wes. Brett Pritchard, text me. <laughs> Jack. Wes, big help, Coleman here on the, on the right of me. Jack Wes. Is it Quez? They yeah, have the Z off Jack the Quez. roster. Oh, it is a Z on the. Jack Wes. Okay, thank you. That confused me. Look, it's not on the. Jacquez, okay. Well, they Jacquez. left the Every We got so many people. The Z is silent, I told you. Jacquez. Is there a Z in the name or not? Jacquez. Okay, thank you. Now we got it. <laughs> Jacquez, okay, that's where we're going. Meanwhile, another play happened. So, Gabe Bitten, Gabe, Gabe Bitten in the shotgun waiting on the snap. He's going to get it over to Morgan. Good night. That was Morgan against Riddick. That was big on big right there. Yeah. Wow. And uh, Morgan's able to get forward for another few yards. Can you how many? Can you tell me yards Wilson has? Wes, do you have any idea? Yeah, in the break. I okay. Because, I mean, he's got to be at 100 yards by now. I'm, I think him and Gabe yeah. are the leading rushers. Yeah, Gabe may yeah. easily have about 100 yards, too. Yeah. At least he's pushing it. He had two. 25-yard carries. This is going to be another snap and another flag. Benjamin Russell, you know, if it weren't for penalties, this might be 35 to nothing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, Benjamin Russell keeps moving themselves back. Yeah. Did, Wes, you tell us, if they had a lot of um, penalty problems this year? Depends, really. On the, I mean, on the game? On the game, yeah. yeah. That Homewood game, I seem to remember a lot of penalties. Yeah. And last week, a lot on the fourth quarter. Just the mm. fourth. <laughs> well, but that was it was when it was out of hand, right? No. Really okay. Uh, All right, Gabe really. Benton's going to roll out to the left. He's looking for a man. He's going to take off again. If he doesn't have 100, he might have 100 after this. He's going to dive Touchdown. into the end zone. Touchdown. Benjamin Russell, 28 to nothing is your Karen Chanel State Farm score. 2.03 left to go until halftime. Wow. Just an unbelievable performance so far. You know, this Chilton County team is not bad. And Benjamin Russell's just putting on them right now. I'm uh, Luke. I'm, I'm looking at a little development here. Um, I hadn't been able to find Riddick. He's not a linebacker anymore. Safety. Man, he's a safety. Me. He's but, a safety. Well, yeah. we did get a text about that, he's but he's been safety. out there. In fact, I think that was that was Riddick on Morgan just a minute ago. Yeah. So yeah. he's been out there. Yeah. He's safety right now. Okay. I'll talk to the coach before mm. the game. Oh, did you? Okay. Yeah. Well, this is going to be a kick, and this is going to be up and good. Perfect. Man, that's going to make it out to the parking lot. All right, 29 to nothing is your score. I asked for one Russell. more. I got two more. I asked for one more score. I got, got two I'm more. T- Look, <laughs> if we had known onside kicks would work that way, we would have done it more often. That was absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. That really was a good kick. And, and really, 
you got to give a lot of credit to your kicker there. They don't ever get credit unless they make a field goal late in the game. But, you know, when he knows, he put it in the perfect spot yeah. between three Tigers, yeah. and all of them were confused. And, Wes, correct me if I'm wrong, I think they thought he was going out of bounds. They did. It was pretty close. I mean, awesome kick. Yeah, because it just stuck and stayed in bounds. Yeah. If that had landed differently, really it didn't it bounce? Yeah. Hit the hit hit the ground and didn't do anything. Yeah, yeah. And and all of the Chilton County players sort of looked at each other as if say, which one of y'all is going to dive on it? Meanwhile, Benjamin Russell, Johnny on the spot. Yeah. Let's try it again, folks. Same play on three, ready break. Ball is in there, and he's he going to kick this one a little bit farther, but it's got a sideways spin on it, and that's going to be back to Demarcus Riddick, who's going to return this kick, and he's got a lot of room. No, that's, that's, that's number five, Luke. Oh, yeah. it is? Okay, yeah, sorry. Five. Look, I'm, 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 I think Riddick is dinged up a little bit. I didn't see him on that last play right there. He wasn't on the field. Well, I did Let's, think that was him on the tackle with Morgan on the far side. And maybe that's what did it. I mean, Morgan's yeah, a big what dude. I, I'm, that's he what I'm is. saying. I think he he was out of the ball game on those last few plays right there. All right, so let's see if Chilton County is going to try and get something going. Look, here, if you're Chilton County, I think you've got to try and score. They can't just take this in the half. You do get the ball first coming out of halftime. They need to pull all the stops out right here. They really do. Coppage is going to drop back. Here comes Spivey. He's going to throw it deep for that tight end that's very talented. This kid uh, has some offers from my, I saw North Alabama. I think Auburn's looking at him maybe as a uh, preferred walk on. Preferred walk on, yeah. yeah. I talked to Munkins before oh, the you? game, okay. and he said he's going to probably take it, that preferred, preferred walk on. Auburn. Well, it's funny, yeah. in his uh, in his recruiting profile, he has an Auburn shirt on, so that may yeah. be a good giveaway. Number nine right there? Yeah. Yeah. He's a good looking player. Did you see Spivey come off the edge right there? I did. Yeah, he's good five. gosh. He's going to be a problem. Second down and 10 now. Cobb is going to get it. He's going to hand it off straight up the middle. Nowhere to go. No. This defensive line has been wonderful tonight. All right, so, no, Wes, no. you see them every week. Yeah. What has been the most improved aspect of the Wildcats tonight? Right now, defense. Yeah. I mean, you, usually they give up for the first drive that have, have a touchdown. Now, I mean, I mean, playing awesome. Right now, that, that was Jai Hicks right there. Yeah. We haven't called his name tonight, but well, I you know haven't had to. He's all over the place. But yeah. you, you, you know, normally I think maybe you just haven't had to because everybody else has been doing their job so well. well when there's three on the tackle, you got to, you know, yeah. it's hard to pick them. It's all hard to out. pick out which one actually did it. All right, more specifically on the defense, you think the line's getting more pressure? I mean, it's hard to even. I guess it's really hard to say the defensive backs play better. They didn't have to do much of anything, right? I mean, yeah, they, yeah. The, the pressure's been wonderful. Well, they can't run the ball. Yeah. Right now, so that's big for our defense. I love seeing this team gel, you know, at this time of the season. I mean, this is a time when you really need to get it together, yeah. especially for BRHS. You already have uh, a, a loss in the region, and you've got the number one and number two teams coming up. So third down and ten. Let's see. No, they're not going to hand it off. They're going to try and hit somebody deep again. That was a bad was short pass, open. and it really was about an interception. That landed – a few feet in front of him. If Again, that was a situation. Coppage, if he could put a little more air into that ball, that might have been a big play. He, you know, if you remember in the first half, he had a play that was also thrown a little bit short. We're doing a good job on him because number nine is definitely the guy they want to get the ball to on those. All right, Malcolm Simmons back to return the punt. I think if you beat HS, even if it's a fair catch, even if the ball's down inside the one, you have a shot at a drive here. You're 125 left to go until halftime. You're up 29 to nothing. But you can really salt this thing away if you get one more score before halftime. Oh, Ooh. my goodness. Almost hit a BRHS player. Yeah. That punt yeah. was so short. And now they're going to cover it up. And I think they're trying to say it they're was. They're trying to say it was touched. <laughs> but, boy, that was some it was close. maneuvering. Yeah, yeah, it was close. Yeah. But I don't think it did. It did. The ball didn't move either way. All right, so BRHS will get the ball. 114 left to go. Here until halftime, 29 and nothing is your score. Just run it out. Is that what you? That's what you do, Coach. Yeah, I mean, 20, again, 29 nothing. 
Yeah, just run it out. I, 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 I wouldn't. Go to the I, know, I'm I with, wouldn't. I'm, I'm Team Wes here. I, I wouldn't. I think, look, I think you well, can. Well, we, we have time to do something. That's well, I just don't want we to have time. I don't want to, I don't want a mistake to cost us well, the one, turnover. I think you take yeah. a shot. I would take a shot deep here first, and they're going to call a penalty on Barry Chess. What's the penalty? I hadn't seen a flag, but they're walking back, and they're walking back 15 yards. Yeah. Are they not? Is a personal foul on us? Okay. I did not see that. Now that may change a strategy. Yeah. Um, maybe a handoff to Wilson, see if he can get what he's been getting. And if he is able to break free for one, but he's, uh, they are going empty back. Well, what what is was the penalty? A personal foul on Benjamin Russell, but we didn't, now it's going to be a, uh, a false start. Oh I didn't gosh. see that. that. I did see the false start. I didn't see the personal foul. Yeah. He is an in, Riddick. There he is. is. Yeah, yeah, okay. On, as a safety. He yeah. is playing safety. Good yeah. call. But I, d I didn't see him on the field at the end of that last possession. Now, I'm, I'm my 66-year-old eyes are, are not very good. Well, if it, it wouldn't shock me if he had a bit of a stinger after uh, matching up with Morgan. Yeah. Is there a reason that he's at safety instead of linebacker, Wes? Um, really not sure. Okay. Because, I mean, he is a hoss. Look at him. Okay, so they're still going empty set, Wes. They are going to take a chance, it looks like. Now, yeah. here comes a blitz. They're going to get it to Malcolm. Malcolm puts that foot in the dirt again. Does it again. Is able to get by his hold man. They're going to call a hold. They're going to call a hold. And Is that David uh, yeah. Lawson? And he looks He looks up at, at the coach's <laughs> staff and says, who, me? Yeah. And uh, David Lawson. We didn't wide. see the hold, but the, the defender did go down. Luke, if I can make this observation about Malcolm, Wesley, I think I'll see what you think about this. I think when Malcolm gets to Auburn, he's going to realize that you make and reverse field once. Yeah. But yeah. if you try it twice, yeah. you're, you're toast. Yeah, I think you're right, David. He really keeps trying to just find that crease and reverse and field. Just get it turned north-south and get what you can get. Yeah. Okay, so it's first and 15 now. We're under a minute. Uh, Wilson is in the backfield, it looks like, with Gabe Benton, and he will get the handoff. Probably a smart play at this point. Yeah. I mean, yeah, Bishop I Russell is going backwards, not forward, so take this to the half. And Chilton County has not been a threat in any capacity, and uh, just let it go. They just can't – they can't get anything going offensively. This Benjamin Russell defense has just been stout tonight. And, you know – Again, you, you see folks, I mean, you everybody reads Facebook and online, and I know that uh, sometimes the coaching staff is taking some hits, but they put together a marvelous game plan tonight. No question. Well, Coach Grider told me yesterday, we got to play full quarters. We hadn't done that yet. And here goes Ooh. Wilson, and he was one tackle away, mm. folks. No. One tackle. Oh, excuse me, that's Norris. Yep, All right, Norris. that's going to do it. Halftime, Benjamin Russell 29, Chilton County 0. We'll be back in just a minute with the halftime. Folks around these parts have known for a long time that Walls Tire, just a mile past the bridge on Highway 280, is your number one stop for automotive service and repair. At Walls Tire, you'll always find quality service at a fair price on everything from AC, name brand tires, big or small repairs, routine maintenance, towing, and more. When your car or truck needs to run right, there's one place in the area to go, conveniently located and easy to find. Walls Tire, just a mile past the bridge on Highway 280. I'm used to living alone, taking care of myself, Mr. Independent. But every now and then, I need a little help. My kids aren't close and I want to stay in my own home. As close as family is such a godsend. Caring professionals here to help me with all the little things. Taking care of the house and myself. Keeping me looking sharp. Feeling sharp too. Learn more at asclosesfamily.com. They really are as close as family. You don't have to ask who, what, or why. Who's Diner is the go-to place for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Conveniently located at the corner of Highway 22 and 280 in Alex City, Who's Diner offers the best meals and the best deals in town. Try our fresh made-from-scratch pancakes, chicken salad, Philly cheesesteak, or the Who Burger. It doesn't get any better than Who? Who's Diner, of course, on the corner of Highway 22 and 280. Who's Hungry? Hi, this is Andrew McGreer at Dunning Roofing. 
At Dunning Roofing, we specialize in high-quality, premium roofs. We don't build roofs that just meet code requirements. We build quality roofs with premium materials that significantly exceed our competitors' warranties. We put money on your roof, not in our pockets. If you're looking for a top-quality roof, call Dunning Roofing today for your free quote at 256-307-7601 or visit us at dunningroofingal.com for more information. Grace's Flowers on Hillaby Street in Alexander City is all fall festive. And you'll fall in love with the girls at Grace's. Beautiful fall decor with artificial and live plants. Yellow, brown, tan, and gold colors that will brighten your home or business. Keep Grace's number 256-234-4238 handy for sending flowers or an arrangement to that special person. That's 256 234 4238 for Graces. We'll see you real soon. Lake Area Realty specializes in Lake Martin real estate. They can help simplify your next real estate purchase or sell and have helped many home buyers and sellers through the area buy and sell real estate with precision. Lake Area Realty utilizes powerful marketing tools and knowledge of the lake to help you with your next move. Call your local hometown agency today. Lake Area Realty at 256-825-4800. That's 256-825-4800. Lake Area Realty. Help Helping you find your way home. Russell Dewitt Center and Building Supply Stores have the tools and materials to get the job done right, whether you're a professional contractor or just a weekend do it yourselfer. With everyday customer conveniences like a drive through lumber yard, price match promise, and our best rewards program, each of our nine locations offer top brands and building materials like lumber, hardware, tools, paint, lawn and garden, and much more. Visit today and see what Russell Dewitt Center and Building Supply can help you build tomorrow. Ants, spiders, roaches, termites, bed bugs, oh my. Let Top Gun Pest Control protect your home and family. Don't be bugged any longer. Not only can Top Gun Pest Control eliminate your bug problems, they can also handle moisture control issues, powder post beetles, fungus, and are certified to install vapor barriers, encapsulations, and dehumidifiers. Top Gun Pest Control, servicing Alex City, Daveville, Sylacauga, Auburn, Opelika, and the surrounding area. Call Top Gun Pest Control today at 256-414-8309. Jeremy Worthy with Worthy Plumbing and Construction is carrying on a great family tradition proudly serving the Lake Martin area and doing new construction, plumbing repairs, remodels, and a whole lot more. So keep this number handy, 205-936-4705. That's Worthy Plumbing and Construction. Again, the number to call is 205-936-4705. That's Mr. Jeremy Worthy. Welcome back to Chilton County Stadium, everybody. Your score right now, Karen Chanel State Farm score is 29 to nothing in favor of your Wildcats. They are just putting on a clinic this evening. And we've been talking about Wilson and Benton. Benton, of course, at quarterback, but he's done a lot of damage on the ground tonight. Both of them have 74 yards yeah. at the half. Both of them certainly trending to go over 100 yards. Our statistician, Wes Coleman, just pointed out to me that – Benjamin Russell has 38 plays to Chilton County's 16. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. And, you know, 38 plays will wear you down defensively. And I think that you, you've seen that. But it really, you can't even attribute these yards to being worn down because, frankly, they were getting these chunk yards at the beginning of the game. From the jump. Yeah. So this has just been a, a very motivated Barry Jess team. Wes, dare I say, this is the – the best half they've played all year? Yeah, I would think so. I mean, offense is clicking. Um, defense is, is doing real good. I mean, only one first down because of p penalty. That's right. right. Yeah. I mean. They hadn't really earned one truly in, right. in, on grass. Right. Yeah. Now, they've had some great starting. That's, that's the one thing I guess you could complain about if you're going to nitpick, that when Benjamin Russell has kicked the ball off, some of these returns have been pretty big. For yeah. Chilton County. In fact, yep. they started off about on the 50-yard line. The first a couple two, of for sure, yeah. Right, Absolutely. but after that, they cleaned that up a little bit, too. So, well, then you throw um, in the turnover. That makes up for it. Right, <laughs> exactly. The, and one, on one of the best pooch high school kicks I've ever seen. Yeah, that was a beautiful, beautiful kick uh, by Murphy. He uh, put it right where it needed to be. Landed on about the actual 30, like the number 3-0. Yeah, yeah. 
and uh, the three just the three Tigers <laughs> just didn't know what to do. Yeah. Frankly, I Wes and I both thought it was going out of bounds and it, thought it might be a penalty on Benjamin Russell, but it just died right there. We've had a tiny, tiny bit of rain before we came here, and maybe that maybe that just sort of softened the field mm -hmm. just enough. Yeah, that was that was a, that was a thing of beauty, and he's doing a good job on his uh, extra points. Uh, what, what grade is Micah in? He's pretty young, isn't he? Let's see. He is a uh, yeah. He's a junior, okay. Junior. They've got him listed as a DB too. Uh, does he play any defensive back, Wes? Have you seen him? This maybe year? some. Yeah. Not much, but maybe some. He, maybe the beginning of the season, he did. Yeah. Just Wes sporting the nice trucker hat. Really, I like that BRHS trucker hat. Oh yeah. Get me one of them. Uh, I think I know some people in the apparel business. <laughs> I'm sure you do. Uh, <laughs> Well, look, your score right now, Karen Chanel State Farm score is Chilton County 0, Benjamin Russell 29, and frankly, it feels like it's 58 to nothing. I mean, the way Benjamin Russell has owned this thing, uh, they've passed the ball pretty well, but they, and they've taken some deep shots. Mm -hmm. They haven't connected on any of them, but really what they've been trying to do is just throw a, a quick out yeah. to uh, Malcolm a couple of times. And run and the ball. It hadn't busted loose, yep. but it hadn't needed to. I mean, nope, they, not at all. And it, it's got to be sort of frustrating as an offensive coordinator when you're doing so well with the basic stuff and you want to try some of your new shiny toys and uh, you don't really have to. But, but you made the point, Luke, uh, when I said something about that, it would have been difficult. You, when you stretch the field like that, yep. Chilton County's defensive coordinator is saying, well, well crap, we got to cover every bit of this field. They're, not, they're, they're throwing long, they're throwing short, they're running wide, they're running up the middle. We don't have a – there's not an area of the field that we <laughs> can't not worry about. Certainly no way for me to confirm or deny this, but you also wonder if Benjamin Russell found out this was going to be – a senior night situation, and do you take that a little personally? I mean, because especially knowing this isn't their last home game. It is, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I think you do. And uh, so maybe they use that as a little bit of motivation. We had, little, we had a little inside joke, Luke, when I was at Gulf Shores when we were first starting that program. We were everybody's homecoming. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, with the coaching staff, would, we'd, we'd go over, we'd pick the homecoming queen. We got to where we were so good, we could pick her. I mean, it, it's it's interesting. If they did find that out, that is a little bit of a slap in the face. But if you're Chilton County, you've never beaten Benjamin Russell, you got to pull That's all right. the stops out. And uh, Benjamin Russell band coming toward us now, sounding yep. pretty darn good. They are, let, me, let me say this, too, that – Benjamin Russell's band is generally about as good as anybody's out there when it comes to high school yeah. football, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I would, I would think so. They I get mean, a lot of support. I mean, Dale does a real, real good job. And they high, get a lot of support. Yeah. And, again, I don't um, I don't have a dog in the fight necessarily. I, I get to see more state championship type stuff, and I can tell you that the, the, the way this the people approach the band just in the community, uh, this band gets a lot of, a lot of support. Yep. You know, they practice on that field right in front of the school. And right. rarely can you drive by where the flags, somebody's practicing out there. So. And now with 8.46 left to go here in halftime, Chilton County will take the field. And that's going to take us to a break. Your halftime score, Patterson Truck and Towing halftime score, Benjamin Russell 29 and Chilton County nothing. GillsOpelika.info. Get pre-approved in minutes online at GillsOpelika.info. For a pre-owned car, truck, or SUV from Gills Auto Sales, 1430 Gateway Drive in Opelika. Something big is coming. Something so big, it'll change the world of chicken sandwiches. Zaxby's new signature sandwich with Zax sauce or new spicy Zax sauce because the chicken sandwich war ain't over yet. The new signature sandwich. All the other little sandwiches can run along. We'll take it from here. Alex City Internal Medicine and Nephrology and Weight Loss Center provides optimum care for the whole person. Dr. Demo Popov specializes in the prevention and diagnosis of high blood pressure, kidney disease, diabetes, and acute and chronic conditions. Our weight loss clinic offers lipo shots and a guide to healthy weight loss. Alex City Internal Medicine and Nephrology and Weight Loss Center, where lifestyle changes are made.
iFoam is independently owned and is your spray foam insulation solution for the Lake Martin area. iFoam offers the latest and greatest in air leak assessments and spray foam insulation to keep your home and office comfortable no matter the season. Foamy says call for an estimate today at 334-367-4795. That's 334-367-4795. J.A. Smith Construction is your trusted choice for construction site clearing and grading for new home construction, underground utilities and site work, concrete paving, storm drain installation, fish ponds, and slough dredging. No job is too big or too small. Call Alexander at J.A. Smith Construction at 256-896-1400 or email asmith at jasmithconstruct.com. J.A. Smith Construction, your trusted choice for construction. Lewis Pest Control is now serving Alexander City and the entire Lake Martin area. They've been family owned and operated for over 60 years. Whether it's residential, commercial, or industrial, Lewis has environmentally safe products for all your pest control needs. Lewis Pest Control. Lay your best to rest. Call the best. Lewis Pest Control. For over 80 years, the staff members of Radney and Langley Funeral Home have been friends in time of need, and we are dedicated to honoring, sharing, and preserving the amazing and inspirational stories of life. You got a friend. Not wasted. Not trashed. Not thrown away. Not junk. Saved. Saved. Repaired. And restored. I am renewed. When you donate used goods to the Salvation Army, you're giving the greatest gift, a second chance to those who need it most. Donating couldn't be easier or more urgent. Visit satruck.org for a donation center near you or call 1-800-SA-TRUCK for free pickup. 76% of nurses say they went into the profession because they wanted to help patients. No matter the reason you decided to become a nurse, you have all the tools needed to advance your degree at Jacksonville State University. Our Master's in Nursing program is now offered fully online and can be completed in less than two years. You can customize a flexible course schedule so you can receive your advanced education degree all while working on the front line. JSU Nursing, your opportunity to advance your career and serve your community. Welcome back to Chilton County Stadium. It is Benjamin Russell 29 and Chilton County nothing, just a supreme performance from your Wildcats tonight, we're going to look up a few more scores. Uh, maybe some that are a little bit closer than this one. Yeah. Probably a few of them. But I did want to mention that, uh, again, Wilson and Benton have both gone right at 74 yards. So we expect both of them to get over 100 yards rushing. Uh, that's going to be an impressive night. Because, again, you know, the Chilton County team, as I mentioned, coming into this game, they had given up three points on defense, then six points on defense their last two teams. Yeah. So nine total points. Ben Russell's got 29 in the first half. Yeah. Well, we we ran the ball. Yeah. Real, real good at in will. the first half. <laughs> oh, yeah, right, David, at will. Yeah. And so we're trying to pull up a few more scores. Thompson's uh, bouncing back uh, there ahead of uh, Hewitt Trustful. Mm. Yeah, that was good. That, that 24 was to 7. That was one of the NFHS games tonight yeah. uh, that I knew was going to be on. Um, and Thompson, you know, just surprised last week by Clay Chalkville. And that was a tight game throughout. That was also 7A versus 6A. Sure was. Hey, but, yeah. Here's one that would interest Benjamin Russell fans and a little bit of surprise. Briarwood 21, Helena 14. Oh, oh wow. now that is big. Uh, that is I, big, Those yeah. two are one and two. In the region. Now that was as eight. That was as of eight oh five. So uh, we'll, we'll try to keep up on that one. Yeah. A few other scores. Ethan Wilder for Gordo has five touchdowns as they lead Carbon Hill forty nine to nothing. UMS Wright thirty five. Alberta seven. James Clemens twenty four. Sparkman seventeen. It's West Morgan twenty one. Deschler fourteen at the half. Gaston City forty two. Hazel Green nothing. Mary Montgomery twenty eight. Davidson seven. Spanish Fort 28, St. Paul's nothing wow. at the half. Ooh. Wow. 
How about this one? Opelika 16, Auburn 7 at the half. My goodness. Oh. Yeah. That is, uh, that is one that is certainly going to be uh, talked about. Yes. Uh, Blunt had closed to within 21 to 12 of Sarah Land, but then there's a, t a touchdown by Sarah Land to make it 28 to 12. And uh, that's a, an interesting game as well. Sarah Land is just absolutely They're loaded to the gills of town. Loaded. Hey, yeah. Luke, well, what's going on at Prattville? Are they just down? I'll be honest with you. I really thought Prattville was about to turn the corner. 42 to 7 Enterprise right now. Now, Enterprise is strong. They, they are strong. Yeah, They're not they forty-two to seven over Prattville strong, no, if you ask no, me. No, that's what I'm, I'm asking. Yeah, we we obviously uh, have a history with Prattville around here and know a lot of Prattville folks, and yeah. uh, it's a little bit strange to see them down uh, forty-two to seven. That's got to be like right at the half, too. Yeah. yeah. Central Phoenix City twenty-one, Dothan seven at the half. And another, yeah, and that may be one of the best teams in the state. Any yeah. class? Oh, for they're sure. they're very strong. And Pelham. Over Calera, 28-3 in the second. Of course, that's a region game Benjamin Russell right. is a part of. Calera looking for their first win. They're not going to get it tonight. Pratt, uh, Pelham is Benjamin Russell's next opponent. Yes, and at they, home. Yeah, at home. Yeah. And Pelham now will, you know, obviously they were a second to last. So this you have the top two and the bottom two playing each other tonight. Pelham's going to get the win, it looks like. So they'll come in uh, to this game, very important game against Benjamin Russell next week. Uh, ben Russell will have an opportunity to really solidify a playoff spot. Yep, you're right. Looking down the home stretch with Briarwood and Helena uh, to finish up. Just kind of unfortunate to me. I mean, I guess you can look at it like an opportunity, but it's unfortunate to me for Ben Russell that they finish up with Helena and Briarwood, the top two teams in this region. Um, of course, it's, it's a you know a coach should look at it like an opportunity, and that's what you say in the pregame speech. But just from a realistic standpoint, it's like coming down the stretch and you say, okay, you got to take on LSU in Georgia. Yeah. I mean, that's difficult. Yeah, no doubt. Who who, who, who did Homewood play tonight, you know? Uh, I will find that here in just a second. Hoover is back up on 28 nothing on Oak Mountain, so they're trying to get back in the winning column. I have not been able to find where Homewood. I haven't Homewood seen Homewood before. either. Now, Homewood may have the week off. That's true. They may have a bye Because this is about the time some folks take their buys. We're going to take a break. When we come back, it'll be ready for kickoff here. 29 nothing. your score. Benjamin Russell on top. Hi, this is Brian Bice with Bice Motors. With our all-star lineup of Dodge trucks, Jeep, SUVs, and Chrysler cars, we offer the area a team dedicated to making your next vehicle purchase a positive experience. Our sales team offers competitive pricing, and we back up all sales with the service department second to none. Bice Motors also offers the area's best selection of pre-owned vehicles. Visit Bice Motors at 2133 Cherokee Road in Alexander City. This is Joseph Dean with Alabama Funeral Homes. As many of you are aware, we had a fire that significantly damaged our facilities. We were in the process of getting those rebuilt. We apologize for any inconvenience this may have caused the families that we serve. I want you to know that we are capable of handling all of your needs at Frederick Dean Funeral Home of Opelika, which will be servicing Alabama Funeral Homes families. We can be reached at our same number, 256-896-4502, or by email at joseph at alabamafuneralhomes.com. Passion, the obsession that burns within. Determination, the burning desire to make it. Drive, the motivation to be the absolute best. Skills, the tools to perform at the highest level. Excellence, the feeling of achievement. At Central Alabama Community College, you can release your passion, show your determination, display your drive, and showcase your skills to achieve excellence. Central Alabama Community College. Central to you. Central to your success. Fire Truck Barbecue located downtown Alexander City with hours of Monday and Tuesday, 1030 to 130, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, 1030 to 630, adding catfish, hamburger steaks, French fries, Brunswick stew, and of course their already well-known barbecue. Let me give you their telephone number, 205-936-936. 0058 and they also do catering at Fire Truck Barbecue downtown Ellick City. 
At Russell Medical, we're proud of our exceptional nurses, like Nurse Brandy Worthy. Brandy represents the selfless, compassionate clinical leader patients expect and co-workers admire. Brandy was recently honored with the Nightingale Award for Nursing Excellence for her high standards, sound judgment, and caring manner. Her passion for her profession inspires us all. Being a nurse is not just what you do, it's who you are. I'm proud to be a part of the nursing team at Russell Medical. We are the link between all hospital services, providing you with exceptional, personalized care. Have you met your local farmer's insurance agent, Patrick Holina? He proudly serves Tallapoosa County and Alexander City families and businesses and is ready to review your existing policies or provide a no-obligation quote today. Call the Holina Agency at 256-234-0037 or stop in today at 704 Commerce Drive to get smarter about your insurance. Again, that's the Holina Agency, 256-234-0037. We are farmers. Bum, ba, da, bum, 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 bum. Underwritten by Farmers, Truck Fire Insurance, Exchanges, and Affiliates. Products not available in every state. The all-new Triple R Cafe in Rockford is open and the place for true Southern-style cooking. Open Tuesday through Saturday in downtown Rockford on US 231. The Triple R Cafe serves up true Southern cooking with a meat and three for lunch. And on Friday and Saturday, get the best dinners in the area with fresh from the garden vegetables. Guff-style scallops and shrimp and bayou-style alligator. Central Alabama's new place for Southern-style cooking with a down-home atmosphere. That's the all-new Triple R Cafe in downtown Rockford. Get a ghoulishly good deal all month long at Opal Like a Ford. Take advantage of spectacular discounts on their entire inventory of brand new Fords. Plus, rates as low as 1.9% APR for 60 months. Shop Opal Like a Ford, Chrysler.com. Get a ghoulishly good deal all month long at Opal Like a Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram. Get their biggest discounts of the year on new Rams, plus 2.9% APR financing for 72 months. Don't miss Ram Power Days at Opal Like a Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram. Welcome back to Chilton County Stadium. 29 to nothing is your Karen Chanel State Farm score. Been an impressive first half so far. And you know, this Bench Russell team, guys, they came out and they seem to be still very fired up. That's what I think yeah. was probably the one thing that was concerning is like, you get up 29 nothing, you go to the break, and you come out, you might be a little flat thinking we got this in the bag. Chilton County is still a very dangerous team. They've got dudes. they got a dude mm -hmm. committed to Auburn on that squad that played wide receiver that has already drawn uh, a pass interference, so it you know they resulted in a first down for them. So you want to see this Bench Russell team, let's go out there and finish. Uh, yeah. I know Wes talked about it earlier, talking about playing four quarters. And let's see if they can put these four quarters together. Coach Grider's message at halftime, Luke, had to be, if I'm guessing, having been in locker rooms for 30 years, guys, look, just keep doing what you're doing, but let's play solid, mistake-free football going into next week and, and, and get on top of this region race. Because, as we said, now with Pelham uh, beating up on Clara right now, that game becomes really, really Man. big. They're all big from this point forward. We'll as keep an eye on that one as the night progresses. Kickoff is going to come down to the hands of Chilton County's number five. Uh -oh. And he has another lane over there on that left side. That's been probably the one weakness tonight. They've been giving up yeah. some uh, kick returns, and they've generally all been on that other side of the field. Yeah. Uh, outside, well, you know, the, the, other, the other two, they went right. This time they actually yeah. went left going in the other direction. But that, that's We're what I'm saying. They've all on there. They, they, it's like they say run to my sideline. Yeah, line. going to the sideline. Yeah. And a lot of guys do that. They, they run to the sideline. But. We hadn't been contained on the outside on kick. That, that, that'd be one of the things that I stick, yeah. that sticks out as a negative tonight is, is kickoff coverage. Well, I think, Wes, you're, you're the one that's been the coach uh, here lately. You, you want to be able to set, have something to work on, right? You no. always want to have one little tiny negative just to say, hey, we, we did great except for this. Now, this is going to be a there's middle a screen, screen, and there's that oh, tight end. Ball, ball. Balls on we the ground, got it. We and Mr. Russell's got it. Now, that's your uh, – that's that was the tight end that we've Number been talking nine, about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be – Jai Hicks got the fumble. I probably didn't need to tell you that if you've been listening to Ben Russell games for a while. <laughs> <laughs> that guy is all over the place. Yeah. And I said this in the first half. You know, a screen's probably one of their best friends as far as offense, and we just blew that up with the tack great tackle. They were all over it. That, and you know what? I don't mind the play. The play call I thought was going to be pretty good. No. Let Ben Russell come in. Try, but they're just so quick. This is going to be a handoff to Norris for Benjamin Russell. He's going to get at least five yards, maybe six. He moves forward. It's going to bring up second down and four. Jai Quay 
and Norris. Jaquay Norris. Yep. Sophomore. He's you a, asked if the Z was silent. It's so silent it's not even not there. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, he's another one to watch now, young guys for Benjamin Russell. Empty backfield now for Gabe Benton. They're going to bring Malcolm in motion. They are going to get it the is. speed sweep, and now he's got some room, and he might be gone. Oh, oh. he pushed his <laughs> he pushed his lineman <laughs> forward. My goodness! Look at that. That was he stiff armed his lineman and knocked him back. <laughs> the knocked H, him forward the H yards. back. What's the old saying? Lead block yeah. or get out of the way. <laughs> yeah. He said you either gonna have to. You gonna have I to don't move. think I've ever seen seen that before. I've never seen somebody <laughs> stiff arm from the back like that. Your own man, but it worked. It's like a rag doll. Yeah. <sighs> Gabe's going to get the snap. Go hand it off to uh, this time to Wilson. Wilson's got a lane. He busts up through there. Good takes blocking. about three. So, Luke, I did see my speed sweep before the night was over. Yeah, you've been looking for it. <laughs> Boy, I'm telling you, kudos to those offensive linemen on the yes, interior specifically. You're right. I'm telling you, that, that those first two gaps have been wide open all evening. And now there's going to be a timeout. timeout. Yeah. yeah. Chilton they, County they was They couldn't get their guys off the field. That's the second time. They're really, uh, from the personnel that they want to feel, they, they're, they're not doing a good job of getting those guys on and off. You know, if you're a coaching staff over there for Chilton County, you've got to be uh, so crestfallen right now that, you know, you come out with this game plan like, guys, let's get right back in it. First play is a turnover. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, Luke, mm -hmm. here's the other thing about th that situation. Is the high, high school, I assume, is the same as college. If you're running tempo on offense, if you don't make substitutions on offense, they don't have time to make substitutions on defense. Right, I think so. And yeah. they're trying to change personnel. Yeah, yeah. And they can't do it. No. Because of the tempo. Yep. So that you just stuck. That's why tempo works. <laughs> and that's well, why if you've got the right personnel on the yep. field, yep. don't change it. That's right. Run your tempo. Yep. Don't give them an Correct. opportunity yep. to make substitutions. So the Wildcats have the ball after UAB Cardiology Associates first down. 29 to nothing, Karen Chanel State Farm score. And it's going to be Gabe Benton waiting for the snap. Norris is in the backfield now, I believe. And he's going to, No, that's going to be Wilson again. Wilson Woo. gets the handoff, and he's going to move forward to about the, looks like the nine-yard line. Where are they going to put that down? They're going to put it on the eight. These running backs do a great job staying low and just getting in that crease, and they're hard to see. Wilson gets the ball right in the middle again. He mm. tries to break free, can't do it. No gain that time. So it's going to bring up third and five. They can get a first down before the end zone. So, Luke, that's only the second play of this entire ball game that I can remember them getting penetration on, on defense. I, I can't remember many plays where they were stopped either at the line or for a loss. Right. I, I thought that's where you were going with it. Yeah because uh, most every play has gained something. Mm -hmm. Malcolm's got one-on-one -on -one to the right-hand side. Let's see if they go there. They're going to fake. Yep, they look for it. It's not there. Now Gabe Benton's rolling to his right, looking for Malcolm. He's going to get it for a touchdown, I believe. Let's see. That's got to be. Let's That's see if they call be. him out. I don't know if they – they say yeah. touchdown now. Touchdown. What a throw. What a catch. The yeah. official was out of position on yeah. that. Yeah, he was. But that was a beautiful throw, a tough throw yes. on a frozen rope. What a comeback. Yeah. Yeah, comeback. Yeah, and I'm telling you, he was rolling out. He wanted to throw it initially. There was great pressure, and he had to roll out, and then Malcolm had to adjust his route. He did a good job. Uh, of course, Gabe Benton did a good job, and it's another touchdown for the Wildcats. Your Karen Chanel State Farm score now is 35 nothing in favor of BRHS. Kick play on for the extra point. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And what happened? The uh, defense, the end for Chilton County just came jogging across the line. Well, they, now, he said illegal motion defense, but uh, I think he means encroachment. Now yeah. they're going to move it up a little bit. Do you go it, for it, two? It'd be at the one no. and a half. You don't need to. I, I understand that the not need. I just wonder if you do it for practice. And the kick is up, and the kick is good. The kick. They've got a really kicker. Nice. Yeah. Ben Russell's got a kicker. I'm impressed with this kid. Yeah. Micah Murphy. All right, so 36 nothing is your new score. Karen Chanel, Karen Chanel State Farm score. You're going to say that in your sleep tonight, I too. Am, I am. going to say a lot of things. <laughs> I'm going to say a lot of things in my sleep. And you're batching it this weekend, so it doesn't it's, matter. Yeah, just, just me and my Morky Poo. There you go. Morky Poo. Yeah. 
That's right. a dog. Uh, all you know is the mama wasn't monogamous. That's that's what we say about that one. <laughs> <laughs> like a kid. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the PG <laughs> version of the. Uh, well, that's not, that's not a terrible word. I think I can say that word. I think. Once again, I can't spell that one. I just, uh, Welcome to my first and last guest appearance on the BRHS <laughs> radio <laughs> network team. I, I was get, I liked this. I wanted to yeah. be invited back again. Luke. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. We I hope that Randy and Brett are having fun uh, laughing at us tonight, uh, listening to this broadcast. But I can uh, tell you right now, they're about they're about three lobster rolls deep right now, enjoying a thirty-six nothing win. Don't yes. you think? I, I, I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> All right, BRHS set to kick off again. This kick goes deep. He's got an interesting kickoff. It's like a yeah. little sidewinder. And it does roll into the end zone, but that was a d definite chance taken by number 22 for Chilton County because it didn't roll into the end zone until the last second. It could have been one of those long onside kicks again. Well, Luke, we've seen the, the pooch. That was beautiful. We've seen the high middle kick. That we've seen. He's got a nice little repertoire. You don't know yeah. what's coming. And I, I like that kick, too, because it's not as easy to catch. No. It's coming at you like a yeah. UFO. Like a knuckleball. Yeah. Knuckleball, yeah. All right, so Chilton County back on offense. Another opportunity for the BRHS defense. The only thing they're missing is a defensive score. And this is going to be a handoff straight up the middle. He's going to get about two yards. I thought the ball may have come loose again, but no such luck. So you're looking for a scoop and score? I'm looking six. for some pick six or yeah. scoop and score. I'm, and they need one of those. Or I want to see a special teams touchdown. Your mouth to God's ears. Return. I mean, they deserve it tonight. They played so well. You want to see all no, faces no doubt. or something. 9.32 left to go here in the third quarter. Another handoff up the middle. Uh -huh. This is uh, Chilton County saying, look, let's let's just get back to basics for a minute. And you know, Luke, after having coached for so long, there are nights when you get home after a game and it just didn't go well and you go, I ain't watching this tape till tomorrow. Yeah. Coach Grider may be up tonight watching this film because it's going to be gonna be delight. fun. It's yeah. going to be fun. Third and three. For the Tigers. Cobbage gets the snap again. Fakes the handoff. Tries to throw the middle oh, screen. That could have been my pick almost six. Almost had it. <laughs> oh, my. He Ooh. read that thing. Sure did. Jai Hicks all over it. If he so hadn't have been off he balance, knew, he would have gotten that. He knew exactly what was coming. They were trying that little tight end screen again. Yep. And Jai Hicks was Johnny on the spot. He was ready to take that one. Play and I don't think Cop I think Coppage was so surprised that Jai Hicks was out there with him. Yeah. The play action fooled nobody. Yeah. Well, again, when you're playing Benjamin Russell, you've got to have a really good offensive line to make the play action work because they got speed up front. Yeah. This is a nice punt. Malcolm Simmons is going to have a chance to return if it bounces to him. Let's it go. does. Let's go. And that's going to be a block oh, in the back no. right off the – I mean, and now – Look at this. Uh, and a lot of movement, but – Look at – And he's going to have a nice little return. Another Ooh. stiff arm. <laughs> and he's going to take this one out of bounds. But you know what? That was – oh, and now we're going to get another penalty? Yep, we're going to yeah. get another penalty to Manager Russell on a retaliation. Yeah. So you're going to have a block in the back, which I assume will be enforced. And then I think the personal foul, because it will be a dead ball, will also be enforced. Look at – well, that, that play was extended so long with uh, Malcolm dancing in, in the sideline that the little extracurricular just was kind of a continuation. You know, it play. felt like all of Chilton County players saw the block in the back and they saw the penalty right where it happened. So it's yeah. almost like they just quit yeah. playing for a minute and Malcolm was like, I'm going to still return it. Yeah. I don't blame him. Lejavius Calhoun just got a little aggressive there at the end. I well, think there he was got some block pretty good. Yeah, there was some frustration uh, blocking on the other side yeah, too. No question. And the last man that did it just got caught. That's all that happened. Yeah. Did you see Malcolm throw, throw the ball? Uh -uh. The, what happened? He was he was standing right here on our sideline, and he threw it all the way across the field, almost in the in the stands. Oh wow. Was that the penalty? No, 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 no. after, after. Okay. Yeah, they're going to say offsetting penalties? Because they could, they could call delay of game for that. Really? They could, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what? I wonder. They're going to make them punt it again because they're saying 
Now, we assume that the penalty was on the retaliation by Benjamin Russell. Right Maybe here they, in front of us. But they must have thrown the penalty on the Chilton County player who I said may have instigated it, but I didn't think he got caught. He must have gotten caught, and now they're going to make him punt it again. So we get to do this one more time. Good. I don't understand. It, it sure seemed like I, I saw the late push by Benjamin Russell player. But I do think the Chilton County play was blocking late. But why didn't they just tack that on to the end of the play instead of them having well, I know I'm wondering why they weren't two dead ball fouls. Yeah. And and still, yeah. but now it's – okay, so Malcolm is actually coming up. This is so bizarre. Well, Malcolm is actually standing much closer to the line of scrimmage on this return. I mean, he's only, what, 20 yards back from the line of scrimmage. Well, let's give him another chance here. Almost blocked. But this is a beautiful yeah, part. Yeah, much higher. And it's going to be a little short. And yep. it's going to come down right around the 42-yard line. And that's where Benjamin Russell will start this drive. 8.31 left to go here in the third, and they're leading this one 36-0. How much more time do you allow Gabe Benton to play, Wes? Maybe this quarter. Yeah, I think fourth quarter will see yeah. some fresh jerseys. Yeah. Who is the backup for BRHS? Um, Johnson. All right, so Gabe Benton, Elijah, Elijah Johnson, Elijah, Elijah Johnson. Johnson, sophomore. Okay, be good to get him some reps in here. And Wilson is in the backfield to Benton's right. Snap, and this is going to be a pass. This is going to be a David. receiver screen to number eight, who's going to get a first down. David Lawson. Yeah, David Lawson. Lawson with a UAB Cardiology Associates first down. That's got to be BRHS as what. No. 14th, 15th first down? <laughs> At least, yeah. Um, now, Luke, I'm old school, but do you remember this? Do you remember on Saturday morning when the Birmingham Post-Herald, Birmingham News would come out after Friday night? Oh, God, With yeah. all the stats. Oh, yeah. Every single stinking game in the metro area. Oh, I loved it. I miss that. Yeah, I do too. Thinking of first downs. Yeah, this is Wilson <laughs> with another run. I'm with you, and you know, I know it's so easy to look it up online, but there's something yeah. about having the, the newspaper in your hand. You're Cup right. Cup of coffee in the newspaper, man. Of course, I, that I is, that. that's nostalgia for us. Yeah. Nostalgia for my seven-year-old is the iPhone 7. <laughs> so. That's right. <laughs> the times they are a-changing. Yeah. Gabe Bitten in the shotgun still. Wilson to his left. Hand it off to Wilson again. Good block. He's going to find a, his way up for about four or five yards. Yeah. Oh, that's number four. It's Norris. Yep. I didn't know. I didn't know if y'all doing fourth quarter. Or did. Jack, Jack Quay Really Norris. probably not cool for the radio guy to we, talk to the we, fans while they're. Uh, 7.32 left to go in this. These people are, uh, we, they get an assist tonight. I know. I'm just, I mean, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm just sitting here talking to people. We're not buying a mistake after yeah. the game. <laughs> Benton, hand it off again. This is going to be Norris again. He's going to have just enough for yes. UAB cardiologist first down. I mean, it has been so quiet here, yeah. eerily quiet all game. I mean, Vince Russell has owned this thing from the start to right now. Well, a lot of them are heading, heading to the house yeah. on the other side over there. Benton waiting on the snap again. He's going to throw it this time. He's looking for uh, yes, a Sidarian. Yeah. He's going to get another first down. <laughs> I mean, they, they really get – Mitchell Russell has three plays. Run, you know, th Screen to the left for the receiver, screen to the right, or run it up the middle, and they all work. Luke, he just knocked Riddick to the ground yeah. on that play. Well, Sidarian Morgan's a big dude. You know, that's one thing we've been talking about, Riddick playing safety. Um Maybe that's where he ends up at the next level, but I think I'll want to put some beef on him. He'll be a yeah. linebacker. Yeah. This is Norris again going up the middle. He's pretty thick. So Darian Morgan's going to be a problem. This this Spivey kid's going to be a problem. He we hadn't called his name a lot tonight because he hadn't had a lot of opportunities to get his sacks. But you can tell I mean, later on when they play like a Helena or Briarwood, I bet you that kid will make some plays. And Jack White Norris as well, number Norris four. Norris is playing very well. Sophomore. Second and seven, 6.06 left to go here in the third. Fake the handoff. Gabe looking, looking, looking. There he finds Sidarian Morgan. Oh, what a, what a catch. Oh, my goodness. What a catch. Holy crap. 
Like a loaf of bread from the second floor, he dives out there and gets it. Just go and get you a basket I, full of pieces. I see laundry on the field. Yeah, I do. Oh, no, come on. What a catch. Illegal man downfield. How do y'all know? Oh. Oh, that was beautiful. And you could see so, it unfolding so nicely. Somebody's down over here. He's down, staring he's down. I think it's Cramps. Who? Cramps. I hope yeah. it's Cramps. It is. You who, can tell. Who's, who's down, Sedarian? Sedarian. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, he's good. He's what there. an incredible effort. Oh, that is that is highlight reel stuff, and they just took it away. No. He laid ah. out there so beautifully. You, It all unfolded right in front of us just the way I'm you wanted to. sitting here going, he's not going to get that. He's not going to get that. Wow. But, he so, but when he unsprawled, I mean, it was like um, – you know, like one of those party things. You had a birthday party, but, you know, you blow into it and it just – he yeah. kept stretching out. Yeah. And, I mean, it was just beautiful uh, play. 6-5 like will do for you. Yeah. Gosh. Man. You hate to take that one away. Yeah. All right, so it's going to bring up – are they going to they're gonna say second and 13 now, okay. And now another false start. Boy, these things come in pairs mm. when Benjamin Russell gets a penalty, it seems like. We, so we went from celebrating the prettiest touchdown of the night to second and 18. Yeah. That's what you hate. And, and you know, as an offensive lineman, it's so hard. It's difficult. Not to go downfield on those extended plays like that. Because you, it's very easy to lose track of where the line of scrimmage is. Mm -hmm. So it is second and 18. Uh, almost another false yeah, start, Wes. I saw, that. I saw yeah. that too. Malcolm Simmons trying to spin out of some tackles, can't do it. Uh, he's going to get about three yards, maybe. So bring up third and fifteen. Yeah. Oh, we were talking about things the coaching staff may want to work on. I mean, that's one thing you bring up is, guys, we had too many penalties. Yeah. Now some of them yeah. may have not been warranted, but whatever. You, there were a lot of false starts, you know, and that is something yeah. you can correct. Yeah. Third and sixteen, they'll call it. 4.58 left to go here in the third period. Benton gets the snap, drops back, looks, 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 throws it. Oh, he caught it. It was a low pass, but it is caught. Yeah, he's going to mark it. Yep. Is that David Lawson? That yeah. is David. Lawson. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Isn't that Lawson? I, yes, I, David I, Lawson. I hate to keep going back to it, but. That's one of the best catches I've ever seen on a high school level. That, that was really pretty. Okay, now they're going to go for it. I was kind of anxious to see if they would bring on the kicker, just see what kind of leg he has from here. But that's going to bring up fourth and five. That would be a 35-yarder, Luke. Yeah, and you never know. I mean, I'd like to see if the kicker's uh, – has he got that kind of yeah. kicking ability? It's getting be better, too. Did they just fall start again? Yeah. Yes. And again, this receivers are, look, those yeah. are false starts are not something you can really complain about. You can always look on the penalty, say, well, we got 15 penalties, they only got eight. But if 10 of them are false starts, there's not much you can complain about. But a false start is pretty obvious. Here's Just the, here's wash the, thing. the ball. Here's the thing, exactly, Wesley. A, a lot of your offensive linemen, especially on Saturdays on the college level with the stadium noise, yeah. it's your offensive linemen that are false starting. If your receivers yeah. are false starting, yeah. really no excuse for that. That's right. Benton looking, looking. Oh, he's wide got a man open. wide open for Good. the touchdown. There's Morgan getting the score, he and he should. <laughs> he should get it. But, you know, he really wanted that other one, and I don't blame him. The other one was a lot prettier. That one unfolded nicely, too, because he was wide open. So your new Karen Chanel State Farm score is going to be 42 to nothing in favor of BRHS with the extra point looming. Yeah, that one wasn't as spectacular as the other one. It still counts for six. That was easy, though. He just put it right over the top of the defender. Somebody busted a coverage on that. There route. is no doubt. And he had all day in the world. He wasn't even close to being pressured. Kick is up, Ooh. and it's good. 43 to nothing is your score. 347 left to go. We're going to take a break. We'll be back in just a minute. Hi, this is Brian Bice with Bice Motors. With our all-star lineup of Dodge trucks, Jeep, SUVs, and Chrysler cars, we offer the area a team dedicated to making your next vehicle purchase a positive experience. Our sales team offers competitive pricing, and we back up all sales with the service department second to none. Bice Motors also offers the area's best selection of pre-owned vehicles. Visit Bice Motors at 2133 Cherokee Road in Alexander City.
This is Joseph Dean with Alabama Funeral Homes. As many of you are aware, we had a fire that significantly damaged our facilities. We are in the process of getting those rebuilt. We apologize for any inconvenience this may have caused the families that we serve. I want you to know that we are capable of handling all of your needs at Frederick Dean Funeral Home of Opelika, which will be servicing Alabama Funeral Homes families. We can be reached at our same number, 256-896-4502, or by email at joseph at alabamafuneralhomes.com. Passion, the obsession that burns within. Determination, the burning desire to make it. Drive, the motivation to be the absolute best. Skills, the tools to perform at the highest level. Excellence, the feeling of achievement. At Central Alabama Community College, you can release your passion, show your determination, display your drive, and showcase your skills to achieve excellence. Central Alabama Community College, central to you, central to your success. Fire Truck Barbecue located downtown Alexander City with hours of Monday and Tuesday, 1030 to 130, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, 1030 to 630, adding catfish, hamburger steaks, french fries, Brunswick stew, and of course their already well-known barbecue. Let me give you their telephone number, 205-936-0058, and they also do catering at Fire Truck Barbecue downtown Ellick City. At Russell Medical, we're proud of our exceptional nurses, like Nurse Brandy Worthy. Brandy represents the selfless, compassionate clinical leader patients expect and co-workers admire. Brandy was recently honored with the Nightingale Award for nursing excellence for her high standards, sound judgment, and caring manner. Her passion for her profession inspires us all. Being a nurse is not just what you do, it's who you are. I'm proud to be a part of the nursing team at Russell Medical. We are the link between all hospital services, providing you with exceptional, personalized care. Have you met your local farmer's insurance agent, Patrick Holina? He proudly serves Tallapoosa County and Alexander City families and businesses and is ready to review your existing policies or provide a no-obligation quote today. Call the Holina Agency at 256-234-0037 or stop in today at 704 Commerce Drive to get smarter about your insurance. Again, that's the Holina Agency, 256-234-0037. We are farmers. Bum, ba, da, bum, 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 bum. Underwritten by Farmers, Truck Fire Insurance, Exchanges, and Affiliates. Products not available in every state. The all-new Triple R Cafe in Rockford is open and the place for true Southern-style cooking. Open Tuesday through Saturday in downtown Rockford on US 231. The Triple R Cafe serves up true Southern cooking with a meat and three for lunch. And on Friday and Saturday, get the best dinners in the area with fresh from the garden vegetables. Guff-style scallops and shrimp and bayou-style alligator. Central Alabama's new place for Southern-style cooking with a down-home atmosphere. That's the all-new Triple R Cafe in downtown Rockford. Get a ghoulishly good deal all month long at Opal Like a Ford. Take advantage of spectacular discounts on their entire inventory of brand new Fords. Plus, rates as low as 1.9% APR for 60 months. Shop Opal Like a Ford, Chrysler.com. Get a ghoulishly good deal all month long at Opa Like a Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram. Get their biggest discounts of the year on new Rams, plus 2.9% APR financing for 72 months. Don't miss Ram Power Days at Opa Like a Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram. Out is on 43 to nothing. Benjamin Russell County, 347 left to go here in the third period. And Benjamin Russell will be kicking off again. Can you get tennis elbow in your leg? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I asked Micah's mom, I said, I wanted to see the long field goal attempt. She said, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and this is another one of those pooch kicks. And oh. they're going to cover it this time. Yep. Yep. That's going to be Chilton County coming up to cover that one. Yep. They sort of knew it was coming. He came up quick. Yeah, he did. Kid's a ball player. That, yep, number, nine. that number nine's a good player. Yeah. So we let, we have 53 plays on offense. Good. They had 20. Oh, my. Wow. Almost the fourth quarter. And almost. Now, how many plays generally does Ben Russell have on a game, Wes? Really? It, it depends on our offense. Sometimes yeah. we'll have 60. Sometimes we'll have 40. Wow. So you're saying 60 usually the high end. We already have 53. Yeah. With a, a half a quarter Got left. Another quarter to go. Yeah. Right. Half a, qu- a quarter and a half. Yeah. Yep. So Coppock's still in there at, at uh, quarterback. They're going to swing oh. it out. Bad pass. 
over the head of the intended receiver. Who was that for Benjamin Russell? He tried to jump it. He, he almost Ooh. He missed. AL.com won't tell me that. <laughs> Benton looking deep, looking deep, still looking. A little bit of time now. He does find Malcolm Simmons My in goodness. the middle of the field. This is going to be a first down and more. Malcolm Simmons trying to get by his man. He does. He he's gone. He's gone. No. Oh. He's tackled from behind. That's going to be a big gainer, though. UAB Cardiologist Associates first down. That's going to get it to about the 13. That's the second time we've called him yeah. gone. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't make yeah. What a great cutback right there. Yep. He, he had so much space. And, again, uh, that got to give the offensive line a lot of credit. They gave Gabe Benton all the time in the world. Somebody out of this dangerous receiving core is going to get open if he has that much time. Yeah. And, and what a great job, once again, coming back and getting his hands out and, and making that reception because he threw that on a rope. He did. Ben, you can see the baseball talent in Gabe's throws, you know. I've not seen him play. I'm going this, this season to watch him pitch. I've got yeah. to. Yeah. You know, being the baseball guy that we, with, with my son, with all that we went through, uh, they just rave about it. I'd like to see him go somewhere and be able to play both. Yeah, yeah. doesn't happen. No very doubt. Often, but now people don't. You know, it used to be a little bit more frequent, and it's uh, hard, everything man. though, uh, when it comes to youth sports, I think uh, even. All these youth sports have become season-long things. You see travel baseball, yep. you know, soccer is year-round for a lot yep. of kids. Yep. Um, football obviously takes up a great deal of time. Basketball with the AAU circuit. Yeah. You're right. You know, it used to be a time when uh, everybody played everything. And that way you could show people the ones you weren't good at. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Maybe you should pick that. Yeah. Part. Norris in the backfield, I think, now with uh, Gabe Benton. Sort of dotting the eye here. He's got double Single twins. Back. He's going to hand it off to Norris. Norris going to get a couple of yards, and that probably will do it for the third quarter. Mm -hmm. 28 seconds. And um, I think we can just keep our fingers crossed here. 20 seconds to go here in the third. Yeah, they're not going to yeah. run another one. Right. BRH just going to take it down to the fourth. 43 to nothing. Just complete domination so far through three quarters. Brett, you and Randy just stay up in Maine. We got this. <laughs> <laughs> We've done our part. How about that? Y'all come back and take the Briarwood Helena game. We got this one. We'll be back in just a moment. Opelika.info. Get pre-approved in minutes online at gillsopelika.info for a pre-owned car, truck, or SUV from Gills Auto Sales, 1430 Gateway Drive in Opelika. So you want to build a home. Build the home you want with America's Home Place. Choose from over 150 floor plans, then personalize. Tile backsplash with granite countertops? Done. A spacious bathroom you've always dreamed of? You got it. Choose every detail, floors, cabinets, even the paint color. How about electric lime? Can't decide? Relax. At America's Home Place, we take care of it all. It's your home. Own it. America's Home Place. I'm used to living alone, taking care of myself, Mr. Independent. But every now and then, I need a little help. My kids aren't close, and I want to stay in my own home. As close as family is such a godsend. Caring professionals here to help me with all the little things, taking care of the house and myself, keeping me looking sharp, feeling sharp too. Learn more at asclosesfamily.com. They really are as close as family. Since 1908, many talented tradesmen and women have proudly represented the Dixie Electric Plumbing and Air name. We are grateful for their commitment to excellence, always providing our clients with quality work that we're glad to guarantee you with 100% satisfaction. No matter the problem, the Dixie Electric team is here for you, serving the Montgomery and Auburn areas. Thank you for choosing a locally owned company. For more information, go to calldixie.com. Call Dixie and it's done. Karen Chanel, your State Farm agent in Alexander City, Alabama and the greater Lake Martin area. I want to talk to you a little bit today about your discounts. How many of you are entitled to discounts that you may or may not be receiving? One of the easiest discounts on your homeowner's insurance is that of having a fire extinguisher coupled with a deadbolt lock 
and a smoke alarm, that gives you an automatic discount on your homeowner's policy. Ellen Shelton Gregg is so excited to be in her brand new location with Picket Fence, downtown Alexander City on Calhoun Street. Open Monday through Saturday from 10 to 6. Original, unique household items, vintage books, vintage sporting goods, vinyl, vintage and antique furniture, original artwork, lake decor, just to mention a few things. Come on by today at Picket Fence, downtown Alexander City. We are a debt relief agency. We help people file Chapter 7 and Chapter 13 under the bankruptcy code. This is Marcia Mason, your local Lake Martin bankruptcy and Social Security disability attorney. Mason Law Firm is located at 217 Madison Street in Alexander City. Call 256-329-1313 to schedule your appointment today. All initial consultations are free and strictly confidential. No representation is made that the quality of legal services to be provided is greater than that of other attorneys. Sun Agent Cuisine, 993 Airport Drive in Alexander City. Open Monday through Wednesday, 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Thursday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Closed Sundays. With occasional entertainment and drinks with a bite. Great food like shrimp and rice. Sesame chicken with stir-fried veggies, just to name a few. Call 256-392-4446. Sarath and Sun say, we look forward to seeing you. If you've got $29, you've got the down payment for a brand new Nissan. Now at Sarah Nissan, three locations. Every vehicle, just $29 down, plus 0% financing for 60 months. 700 new Nissans, and you get a lifetime warranty, no charge. 0% financing for 60 months. Every vehicle, just $29 down. Now at Sarah Nissan in Birmingham and Sylacauga, plus Tony Sarah Nissan in Coleman. Announcing Lake Martin Medical Center's new address at 815 Lee Street. Dr. Basil Rafi offers services in primary care, provides bioidentical hormone pelleting, and specializes in treating leg sores in the Lake Martin and surrounding areas. Our med spa also offers IPLs, laser hair removal, and a variety of aesthetic products and procedures for your skin care needs. We're your one-stop shop to looking and feeling your best. Call 256-212-9300 to schedule your appointment. That's 256-212-9300. Getting you set for the fourth quarter. Luke Robinson, David Jones, Wes Coleman, all here at Chilton County watching the Wildcats steamroll the Tigers 43 to nothing so far. <laughs> it, we're getting set for the second down and nine. Benjamin Russell. Threatening again. And this is gonna be a handoff up the middle and this is gonna be close to a, no, they're gonna say about six yards. That was number 33 for Benjamin Russell. Fresh get, ball carrier there. Yep, got some new names in. Cody Marbury, a ninth grader. Gabe Bitten still in there. They'll probably let him finish his drive out, I assume. Gabe Bitten's going to roll out looking for somebody being chased. Being chased, now he's going to take off and run. He has the touchdown, I believe. He dived for the pylon. He did dive for it, and he yeah. got there. They finally put their arms up. <laughs> Gabe Benton's going to get a touchdown. Benjamin Russell should get here at extra point and hit the half century mark. The side judge is killing me over there, he jogging is, down boy. the field, just waiting to give the signal. How about him improve that reaction time, bro? <laughs> I mean, because Gabe knew he. Got we're sitting it. over here trying to make things dramatic. <laughs> And if you don't put your arms up immediately, I gotta fill some space. Uh, you're you know. right, Luke. <laughs> Gabe's <laughs> standing up, saying, "Dude, you gonna signal or not?" Yeah, I mean, seriously. All right, kick fillet out there to make it to the 50 spot. <laughs> I did not see a 50 nothing game coming at any point. I'll be honest; I really thought this was gonna be a pretty tight one, and that one is good. 50 to nothing, 11-18 left to go in the contest. Benjamin Russell absolutely rolling tonight. How many plays so far, Wes, for Benjamin for Russell? For us? Yeah. Uh, hang on. Sorry, you got, how many pages you got to go back? I'll, Russ is going to need a new pen. Going to have, no, going to have three. <laughs> CC1. CC1, 61, yeah. Plays. And we got a whole quarter. We and, and they have 25. That's amazing. <laughs> That really is amazing. 
Look, when you have 61 total plays and you've got 50 points, that's hard to beat. That's the kind of efficiency you just cannot yeah. beat. Yeah. A point of play is about all you can ask for yeah. in college football. This is one of those moments. This is one of those moments where the new guys look at each other and say, "Did we take a break? Don't think so. So let's stay with it." <laughs> He's about to kick. I waited too late for that one. <laughs> I know you did. You looked at me, and I thought, "All right, I'm just gonna let somebody else have a shot at talking." Uh, Fifty to nothing's your score. Benjamin Russell about to kick off. Left-footed kicker up wow. in there. Wow! It's that UFO kick again. This one's gonna bounce. It's gonna hit the Chilton County player. He does corral it. Now he's trying to get to the sideline again. That's better. That's the best coverage yep. of the that night. Good yep. coverage, though. Hey, only about a six-yard return. And another great What was kick. that ball doing? That was weird it is, looking. Look, he kicks it as if he kicks it from the side, and it spins like a bottle Is that what he was doing? Yeah. That was crazy. And he bobbled it. The most noise we've heard coming out of anything tonight besides me is from the, the speakers. The uh Boom box for the cheerleaders. Yeah. I mean, they, Benjamin the Russell shut this crowd yeah. up early and they never got into it. You know the nights when you played basketball, Luke, and you went in and, and you just owned the other other team's gym? Mm -hmm. What a great feeling that is. That's, mm -hmm. that's been the case here tonight. Uh, I, I, I wish I could say I knew what that feeling was like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, y'all had a few of those. Wait, wait, wait. First down, uh, wait a minute, there's a tackle by somebody. <laughs> And it's a big deal. All right, okay. We got it. Who was oh, it? Oh, wait a minute. Somebody went down with a cramp. That's, like, uh, that's a cramp. Dang it. Yeah. That's Kendarius Bird. <laughs> Poochie. Poochie, okay. Yeah. Poochie. I yeah. heard Boochie and Moochie, and I wasn't going <laughs> to say it until I got confirmation. Yeah. Good, good kid. He uh, is. Poochie? Yeah. He's whose brother? Nudies. Nudies, okay. Yeah. We, give an, we, give a, we give an assist to the Benjamin Russell uh, faithful here in front of us tonight, yeah. no question. Ninth grader. He is. Poochie. Is that him down? Yeah, it is. We're going to take a 30-second break while we find out about Poochie. New Save Auto Rental of Alex City has moved to 1185 Cherokee Road across from the Cherokee Pure. Our new offices are open, and at New Save, we're putting you back in the auto rental with personalized local service and the best rates in town. Whether your vehicle's in the shop or business or vacation travel, New Save has you covered with a large fleet of cars, SUVs, and vans. When you need a rental, call or visit New Save on Cherokee Road, where they always have you covered. At CNT Electric, our clients are our priority. For the safety and security of your family and home, our technicians are professionally trained, drug tested, background checked, and wear uniforms with name tags. We're proud to have served the Elk City, Dayville, and Lake Martin areas for the past 10 years. Give us a call at 256-234-0007 for all your electrical service and repair needs. Or visit us on the web at www.cntelectricllc.com and spell out the word and. Tapley Appliance is now Presley Appliance and Furniture. It's all the same friendly staff. And Mike and Trevor Presley not only offer the best in appliances from Whirlpool, KitchenAid, and Maytag, but now we offer full lines of furniture from Ashley, as well as a great selection of outdoor furniture. Make sure to visit the Presley family at the all-new Presley Appliance and Furniture on Cherokee Road in Alex City. Same great service and appliances, now with a great selection of furniture for home and outdoor. Dean's Daylight Donuts and Cafe in downtown Alexander City, they are now serving more than hot donuts. Stop by and pick up one of their breakfast bowls with your choice of sausage, bacon, or smoked sausage on a bed of scrambled eggs, cheese, and country grits. Or try their sausage or bacon and egg croissants and add a cup of hot coffee, iced coffee, or orange juice. Dean's Daylight Donuts and Cafe open Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. 
Jackson Drugs on Cherokee Road in Alexander City is ready to kick the football season off. Auburn plates, towels, earrings, bracelets, picture frames, and cups. Alabama trays, cups, plates, game day t-shirts, and bags for both teams. Hey, Georgia Bulldog fans, we've got you covered, too. Drop in today and check out our gift shop. Go team! Lake Area Realty specializes in Lake Martin real estate. They can help simplify your next real estate purchase or sell and have helped many home buyers and sellers through the area buy and sell real estate with precision. Lake Area Realty utilizes powerful marketing tools and knowledge of the lake to help you with your next move. Call your local hometown agency today. Lake Area Realty at 256-825-4800. That's 256-825-4800. Lake Area Realty, help and you find your way home. The Morris Haynes Law Firm focuses on representing those who have been injured or mistreated by the wrongful acts of others. We have offices in Ellick City and Birmingham, but we have been calling Ellick City home for over 30 years. If you find yourself in need of a lawyer, give us a call at Morris Haynes, 256-329-2000. We would be honored to help you. Let Riverbank & Trust open doors for you. Whether you're purchasing land, a lot by the lake, or building or buying a home, begin with Tallapoosa County's loan experts. They'll guide you through the entire process, providing local decision-making, prompt responses, and the best real estate loan solutions for your unique needs. And in most cases, Riverbank & Trust can close your loan in 30 days or less and they'll walk by your side every step of the way. It's all just part of the River Bank & Trust difference. We invite you to experience it for yourself. As the heat of summer fades and cooler temperatures come calling, we look forward to that feeling of fall. It's the perfect time to be outdoors with family and friends and a great time to be alive. Make sure your heart is ready for the season with an appointment at the UAB Heart and Vascular Clinic at Russell Medical. I'm Dr. Kevin Sutlett and our entire clinic is dedicated to keeping your heart healthy. We're right here in your own community and backed by the knowledge and expertise of UAB Medicine. Make an appointment today by calling 256-234-2644 or visit uabmedicine.org slash heart russell. But you love looking forward to the next year and what do you have coming back. And You yeah. know, Bench Russell's going to lose some dudes this year, but they got some coming back. Come on, uh, They got right. uh, trip stacked to the right, single wide to the left, one back. One back to his left of Coppage. Coppage waiting on the snap. He gets it. He drops back. He's looking. He's looking. Now he's got some pressure. And there goes oh. Murphy. And this ball's going to be picked Go. off. Go. And here goes Benjamin Russell back the other way. This could be 99 yards. He's got a hole, though. Keep going, my Let's friend. Let's go. At 40, 30, 20, oh. 10. Oh, a, no, not a flag. a flag touchdown. It's a flag down. Is that a flag? On the is five it? Five-yard Maybe. line. Yeah, it is. My gosh. It could, that couldn't have been pass interference. There's no way that was pass interference. What is the call? Two great plays tonight, nullified by the flag. Some, oh, he, they, they, or maybe they say he stepped out. Is that did just marking no. it? Drop the flag where he stepped out. Usually you use a bean bag. You use the use. Yeah, yeah bean bag. What? What is the call? God, you hate that. That's what I called for. Yeah, it sure did. Is that what they called? I Out of bounds? Surely they didn't call. A, there, there's a flag, so nobody's announced nothing. Here he comes. Here's, here we go. Uh, holding. Did he call holding them? Yeah. If it's holding. Oh, I know, I know what it was, Luke. The quarterback was down on the ground. Oh, and they helped and our him. guys. Helped, I did he see held that. him oh, down. But he got didn't you. hold him. He was just like, yeah. Shh. Well, he wasn't trying to get up. <clears throat> well, and here's the other thing. That happened way up here. I know it. So why the why is the flag at the five? Well, that's a great. My question is, I think we're a, still on defense, so I don't think that's what the call is. That's no, great, we're, yeah. we're on offense. Oh, we're on right offense. Now. Yeah, okay. Offense. Yes. Okay. That's what it was. He held him on. All right, I saw 23 back out there. He must be playing both ways. I saw, thought I saw 23. Did I not? My goodness. No, we, okay, Benjamin Russell does get the ball. 
and it will be at the four. I couldn't be more disappointed in getting the ball back because I thought that was a touchdown for show. Oh, that would have been and awesome. You, know, you, 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 you rarely I mean, let ever that see go, a play man. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I hurt for that kid. I'm not even sure who had it now. Look, look, if the quarterback's trying to get up and you hold him down, he wasn't trying to get up. No, he wasn't trying to get up. His ridiculous. legs were crossed. He wasn't going to get up. I feel like going up full Brett Pritchard right now. I know. I'm going to hold back. And, I mean, you hate to be so, you know, nice Ooh, run uh. in the middle, but he's taking down. You know, you hate to be so petty about it because it's 50 to nothing. So, <laughs> But, I mean, that's that's one of those plays. But that, that could have been the highlight of that kid's year. Well, and, and yeah, not only that, that's true. how excited was the bench for him? Yeah. <laughs> you yes. know, that's yeah. a team-building yeah. moment. Yeah. It's like the principal son getting in and hit two free throws. I know exactly. <laughs> 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 it makes, I mean, it just, I'm just, I'm, I'm hurting. Uh. All right, Gabe Benton waiting on the snap, second and ten. Is that? Is, that is may that not Gabe? be Gabe that's anymore. No, Gabe. that's Elijah Johnson. Okay. Yeah. Again, I apologize, Backup folks. We are, it's not like we have a bird's eye view here. It's very difficult to see. Who is uh, who is in at quarterback? I mean, literally, they're they're uh, being covered up by our yeah. linemen. Yeah, they yeah. do have a new quarterback in there. Yeah, Elijah. Yeah, we Johnson. got uh, yeah. got some fresh guys in, all the way across the board. Third and five. No, th fourth. No. Okay, that's got fourth. The read now, that. Got read, third again. read that. I know. I know. There's no. If it's fourth, though, we need to be. Punished. No, no. We'll take a timeout. Yeah, they're letting the clock to draw, run down. Draw them all sides and. Because we'll call a timeout right before the play clock's up. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we got to punt it. Okay, we're going to take a timeout. Your score 50 to nothing. Benjamin Russell on top. We'll be back in just a minute. GillsOpalika.info. Get pre approved in minutes online at GillsOpalika.info. For a pre owned car, truck, or SUV from Gills Auto Sales, 1430 Gateway Drive in Opelika. Henderson Towing, Alexander City, 24-hour towing, jump starts, door unlocks, local and long-distance towing, heavy-duty towing. So let's get old Big House to the rescue today. Here's that number. Now keep it handy. Henderson Towing, 256-392-4554, 256-392-4554. Henderson Towing, 24-hour towing, 256-392-4554. I'm used to living alone, taking care of myself, Mr. Independent. But every now and then, I need a little help. My kids aren't close and I want to stay in my own home. As close as family is such a godsend. Caring professionals here to help me with all the little things. Taking care of the house and myself, keeping me looking sharp, feeling sharp too. Learn more at asclosesfamily.com. They really are as close as family. Hillaby Towers is an affordable senior citizens community located in Alexander City on Highway 22 East. Spacious one bedrooms are available now. Great location, peaceful setting, comfortable living where pets are allowed and utilities are included. Call today to find out more information on Alexander City's best kept secret, 256-329-0552. That's Hillaby Towers in Alexander City. Jackson Apothecary, located in New Side, Alabama, on Highway 22 East, is open Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 5.30. Now, Brad Jackson says, hey, it's organized, it's clean, it's for you. Vitamins, medical supplies, household items, they even have a drive-thru. Let me give you their number, 256-392-3448. That's 256-392-3448. Jackson Apothecary. We are Debt Relief Agency. We help people file Chapter 7 and Chapter 13 under the Bankruptcy Code. This is Marcia Mason, your local Lake Martin Bankruptcy and Social Security Disability Attorney. Mason Law Firm is located at 217 Madison Street in Alexander City. Call 256-329-1313 to schedule your appointment today. All initial consultations are free and strictly confidential. No representation is made that the quality of legal services to be provided is greater than that of other attorneys. 
If you're seeing the American cockroach, throw up the red flag. Ladybugs, throw up the red flag. Ants and swarming termites, throw up the red flag. And kudzu bugs, throw up the red flag. That's red flag pest control. So the caution is on. Call Red Flag Pest Control today. I'm Scott Davis with Red Flag Pest Control. Call me today, 256-825-0430. They say we live in an age of big data, where computers and fancy algorithms are supposed to know you best. But at Country Financial, we know helping you own your future requires, well, something much bigger. Contact your local country financial representative and start planning for your future with a personal touch. Are you suffering from neck pain, back pain, or sciatica, or do you just want to feel better overall? Dr. Andrew Curley of Curley Clinical Chiropractic was born and raised in Elk City, provides different chiropractic techniques, and applies the therapies to suit your needs. Curley Clinic of Chiropractic is located at 748 Commerce Drive in Ellic City. I'm Kenny Dean. I'm a patient, I believe. For an appointment, call 256-392-4445. Well, let's see if he does throw it. Yeah, he will. Open, open. Uh, and he's got plenty of time. Finally, we're getting some pressure back there. Oh, uh -oh. he's got him oh, wide no. open wide. out of practice early. Oh, my Dang goodness. <laughs> the, Benjamin, to six the Benjamin Russell kid just... Holding his head, he knows he, blew, he busted blew. the coverage. That's okay. That's all right, bud. Don't sweat it. Look, I mean, bless you, his heart. You do hate it. It does show up on the scoreboard, but we know what the score was. I'm not gonna call his name. That was a freshman. Yeah. Hey, come on. Again, I get it. Yeah, don't be too down on yourself, bud. In fact, it's a coaching moment. Absolutely. Well. I, you put your secondary in in a bad spot because he had all day to to find a receiver. Yeah. There really was no pressure for the first time all night. Oh. Extra point is up and good. Big leg. He got yeah, a kicker too. Yeah. yeah. Well, we we hadn't seen him tonight. Yeah. No. <laughs> hadn't been an issue. <laughs> yeah. Saw him one right. time. Fifty to seven now. Benjamin Russell on top. That's your Karen Chanel State Farm scoreboard. 148 left to go, mercifully, in this contest. <laughs> Older guys loving on some of those younger guys. You got to love that. Yeah. Because they've all been there, you know? Yep. He just, look, he, he is beside himself. He is still. And look, I get that too. And I think it's I think that's great. I love that. I love seeing the passion, you know? Right. Don't sweat it, buddy. That's a kid that wants to win. He wants to do what he's assigned to do. He blew that one. He's very upset. You gotta love that as a coach. You know, this team's Who sort of got? coming together very nicely at a good time. Who we big got win D? over Smith Station. Then you have this yeah. big win tonight. Yep. Uh, you got a game against Pelham at home next week. Yep. I suspect we'll see a great crowd out there. We got a freshman deep. Cody Marbury's deep this time for Benjamin Russell. Boy, do you remember who took the pick all the way back? That we'll Welcome back to Chilton County Stadium. Luke Robinson along with David Jones and Wes Coleman as we wrap up this big win for Benjamin Russell. They've already taken the score off the scoreboard. <laughs> I said, boy, now they get to move the scoreboard right. right. Yeah, they 50 got it right. to 7, <laughs> Benjamin Russell wins it. That's your Karen Chanel State Farm score. And now we need to talk about the J.A. Smith construction, Lake Martin player of the game what have we decided here boys tj wilson tj wilson, yeah, wilson. i think okay tj wilson i think that's could have been could have been gay bitten yeah. could have been sedarian morgan yeah but i'm gonna go with wilson because he set the tone early in the game yeah. just running up and down the field and, yeah. and really he was he didn't have any you know bust out 40 yard runs but he had a bunch of 11 yard runs yeah i mean just yeah. a peach basket full of that's them right. so he, uh, he certainly deserves that. He scored the first two touchdowns of the game. And then he just was sort of, every time Alec B, it's like BRH just needs six yards, okay, hand it to TJ. He Peach got basket, yeah. pun intended. That, exactly. I'm trying to get, I tried to move some of that stuff <laughs> in. Hey, and Malcolm was perfect <laughs> yeah. on complete, 
completions in the second half. Gabe yeah. Benton was, you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gabe. Yeah. That's that's what I meant. Gabe. Gabe. He was. He didn't have a single incompletion. In the no. Oh my gosh. No. no. And look, I don't know how many plays we ended up with, but it had to be close to seventy. Sixty-six. Okay. Well, I said this before the game, Luke. His and you can verify this, Wesley. His completion percentage has got to be up near seventy oh, percent. Yeah. yeah. For the year. You know, and it I'm makes sense when he's such a good baseball guy. They have to have such good accuracy. Yeah. You know, they, they're throwing into a very small window. That's right. So it makes sense that he'd be able to do that with the football as well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and then I think the play of the game, uh, Wes, I think you're the one that called it. I'll let you lay it out for us. And that, that kick from Murphy, almost an onside kick, but kicked it maybe seven, no. 20, 20 yards, 25 yeah. yards. Yeah. And you know what's High great pooch. about it is, okay, let's High say pooch. they get yeah. it. Let's say they get it. They field it. Well, you're right there to tackle them, and they're, they're going to tackle them around the 30. Yep. So it's not that big of a deal. Let's say they um, it goes out of bounds. Okay, your penalty is going to be about to the 35 or 40 or whatever. Again, not that big of a deal. But the, the upside of it, if you can put it just right, is you get the ball because you cause mass hysteria over there. Nobody yes. knew what to go get the ball, and that's exactly how that went down. He tried it again a little bit later, and they covered it a little bit better. But, yep. again, it didn't hurt. And I think, uh, you know, by that time, obviously, things were already out of hand. Benjamin Russell, just an absolutely dominating performance night. A thing of beauty. A lot of fun to watch. Hate that Randy and Brett didn't get to see it. But I'm sure they were uh, checking in on the NFHS network or maybe on Collage of Country, one of those two, and uh, they could imagine how big of a whooping it was. I I'm quite sure whatever they're doing up in Maine that they quite enjoyed this one tonight. Oh, there's no doubt. No about doubt. As did You're right. I. Great to be with you guys. Thank all our sponsors here for, the, for this uh, great game and uh, hope to do this again soon. Well, maybe you and I, I'm sure you and I will probably get together in oh, yeah. um, February, March for the uh, – Final Four. We got February. We got uh, February, March Final Four. Got AHSA state championships. Before yep. you know it, on football, got yep. everything. So, yep. all right for Wes Coleman, for David Jones, I'm Luke Robinson. Saying thanks so much for being with us tonight. Thanks so much for putting up with us. BRHS wins big, fifty to seven. Hi, this is Brian Bice with Bice Motors. With our all-star lineup of Dodge trucks, Jeep, SUVs, and Chrysler cars, we offer the area a team dedicated to making your next vehicle purchase a positive experience. Our sales team offers competitive pricing, and we back up all sales with service department second to none. Bice Motors also offers the area's best selection of pre-owned vehicles. Visit Bice Motors at 2133 Cherokee Road in Alexander City. If you're seeing the American cockroach, throw up the red flag. Ladybugs, throw up the red flag. Ants and swarming termites, throw up the red flag. And kudzu bugs, throw up the red flag. That's red flag pest control. So the caution is on. Call Red Flag Pest Control today. I'm Scott Davis with Red Flag Pest Control. Call me today, 256-825-0430. So you want to build a home. Build the home you want with America's Home Place. Choose from over 150 floor plans, then personalize. Tile backsplash with granite countertops, done. A spacious bathroom you've always dreamed of, you got it. Choose every detail, floors, cabinets, even the paint color. How about electric lime? Can't decide? Relax. At America's Home Place, we take care of it all. It's your home. Own it. America's Home Place. Passion, the obsession that burns within. Determination, the burning desire to make it. Drive, the motivation to be the absolute best. Skills, the tools to perform at the highest level. Excellence, the feeling of achievement. At Central Alabama Community College, you can release your passion, show your determination, display your drive, and showcase your skills to achieve excellence. Central Alabama Community College, central to you, central to your success. Hi, this is Andrew McGreer at Dunning Roofing. At Dunning Roofing, we specialize in high-quality, premium roofs. We don't build roofs that just meet code requirements. We build quality roofs with premium materials that significantly exceed our competitors' warranties. We put money on your roof, not in our pockets. If you're looking for a top-quality roof, call Dunning Roofing today for your free quote at 256-307-7601 or visit us at dunningroofingal.com for more information. 
Grace's Flowers on Hillaby Street in Alexander City is all fall festive. And you'll fall in love with the girls at Grace's beautiful fall decor with artificial and live plants. Yellow, brown, tan, and gold colors that will brighten your home or business. Keep Grace's number 256-234-4238 handy for sending flowers or an arrangement to that special person. That's 256 234 4238 for Graces. We'll see you real soon. Welcome to Alex City Food Shop, your locally owned and operated shell station located at Highway 280 and Airport Drive. Fill up with Shell V Power Nitro Plus Premium Gasoline and get the best total engine protection you can get, period. Stop by anytime, day or night, open 24 7, and check out the great specials on all your favorite convenience store items. Keep that car clean with a touch free car wash where your six wash is always free. Also, be sure to use your FRN and Winn Dixie Reward Card and save on all of your gasoline purchases. Benton Clearing and Grading is Cody and L.D. Benton, and they get your job in sight. Moving dirt is a clean job to them. Clearing a lot for your home or business is what they do, and they do it right. Call L.D. or Cody today at 256-397-2531 or 397-2532 for a quote today. I promise you, they'll do the job right. That's Benton Clearing and Grading. Get a ghoulishly good deal all month long at Opal Like a Ford. Take advantage of spectacular discounts on their entire inventory of brand new Fords. Plus, rates as low as 1.9% APR for 60 months. Shop Opal Like a Ford, Chrysler.com. Get a ghoulishly good deal all month long at Opal Like a Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram. Get their biggest discounts of the year on new Rams. Plus, 2.9% APR financing for 72 months. Don't miss Ram Power Days at Opal Like a Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram. 